Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to another Mad Dog Mikey stream. I hope everyone out there is having a great day. The plan for today is to, well, random TFOs and whatever else I feel like. Nothing too serious. It's going to be a little casual, just laid back. So let's get the party started. Help if I turn that on. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, professional professional streamer here. Let's make sure. Yep, everything should be on. Yep. Oh, well, let's just see what we get. I'm gonna probably swap around tunes a fair bit tonight too. Might jump on some of my other alts and maybe do some battle zones. I don't know. Just see what kind of trouble and shenanigans we can get into. That doesn't need to be that loud in my ear. And just make sure my death counter is reset, even though I shouldn't die too much tonight. And my tray's fucked. I can see that already. There we go. Okay. And of course, the first one I get is going to be ground. Yay. Okay. Okay, get the. Sh yeah, I was gonna get the. Actually, I can use it because do that. Uh, I need more batteries. So I forgot. Did a couple pavos yesterday, so used up a fair bit. All I can say is thank God these stack on the ground. I'll just leave these ones queued. And let's see what we get. <clears throat> oh, f fudge. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was so not prepared. Someone has motion accelerator. Lovely. Okay, that that doesn't count as a death. Actually, I'm gonna take the bowl off. Yeah, hang on. Not gonna use bowl on this. I'll use collective instead. Yeah, that's better. Oh. 
Ay, ay, ay. Oh, I didn't realize I had AP ground. <laughs> Should have left it. I'll use them in another, another map. This Kumarke set, I tell you, man, it is just so flipping good. It is a little overpowered when you fully guild it and upgrade it and everything, but it's fun. Besides, who doesn't like pink lightning? And unlike a lot of players out there, I'm not really that bothered that they've finally fixed the MUDS motivation little bug exploit we've, we've all been using for so long. Still get pretty quick. You can still use your modules pretty quickly. You just can't spam them instantly anymore. Again, not a huge deal in my opinion. Tactic Queen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Sphinx. How's it going? That literally almost scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Keep forgetting how loud those walk-ins are on my headphones. <laughs> we are gone. Hey, Dark Raven, thank you for that follow, and welcome to the Dog Collective. Hey, Dwayne, how's it going, man? Good to see you, Mr. 200K. Yeah, I have the Kamarke set on a couple of different tunes. I have it on Blake. This is she has my best ground build, so but see how good just how good it is on my best one. And yeah, it's good. Have it on a couple of my lower alts too. Not all of them. A few of them. It's a fun set. I get that, Sphinx. I get that. Well, I'm so glad you like that ship, Dwayne. I, you know, Augie, when Augie did that, that just shows how much we all love you and how good of a person Augie really is. And I'm so happy we we're able to get you that, that 200k the other night. Just goes to show that with patience, perseverance, 
and of course help from people who actually like you and respect you the sky's the limit Uh, Dark Raven, uh, our good friend Augie gave Dwayne the Temporal Light Cruiser. The, the T, T, T6 Connie. Yep, I'll, I wouldn't go that far, but no, Augie is, he's a good person. And, you know, Dwayne is, in all honesty, probably one of the biggest supporters of all of us. Dwayne's a fixture in pretty much every single one of the STO streamers chats. He's always around, always hanging out. And he's a very good person who doesn't have the ability to spend a lot of money in the game so Augie reward, wanted to reward his loyalty on behalf of all of us so <clears throat> well it, and when it comes to GPS yeah Augie is yeah he's a lot of our mentors he's mine it was because of him I I have the DPS records record that I do, and even for a very short time, I think it was three weeks, maybe four, I was actually higher than him on the on the leaderboards. Probably it's I'm in so many STO discords. I'm in, you know, PSB, STO, Apocalypse, uh, Augies, of course. I'm a mod in Augies. Uh, it's, yeah, I'm in so many I've lost count. So, yeah, it's a good chance I've, I've seen you and cross paths with you in at least one or two discords. Oh, the Kelvin D, yeah, the Kelvin D7, I love this ship. This is my favorite Klingon ship. I love it so much. Yeah, I have this set up as a uh, torp boat, almost meta. Yeah, I have that one on on my uh, my Ferengi tack character. That's what I have my record at in the uh, Section Thirty One battle cruiser. I love that ship too. But this, like, this is my Klingon alien. It's, I made this tune literally just before the original Klingon recruitment. Mainly because it, when, when the Klingon recruitment came out, that's when the, you know, the walls to fly any ship were, was being introduced. And I didn't have a 65 KDF, so... I had a Romulan, but the Romulan didn't count. <clears throat> so I had to make this one quickly and get the 65, and I power leveled this before I realized the little uh, little cheat slash hack by using the um, lockbox duty officer missions. <laughs> but I was able to level this one up over a weekend, and it's a bit of a theme, a theme tune. Basically, if you know that, if you know what this name, what uh, anime slash web series this character's name is is from, then you know the theme. Hence, also the name of the ship and why the ship is that colors. Yeah, cheat might be a little bit of a strong word. Well, dark. The good part. Like when you look at like especially if you're gonna go to the road the route of torpedoes. With the exception of the Delphic, all your weapons like all your weapons, your deflect and everything, 
a reputation. So it's easy to get a hold of. Yeah, Fleet, uh, and Fleet Colony, easy to get a hold of. You don't have to use the Delphic. It's just we use it for the debuff. But there's others you can use. And then when, even when we look at the consoles, the only like super expensive console we're using now is the Battle Nero. Yeah, traits. See, this one's a little bit different. I don't have... Because I don't have hardly anything good on this tune. So the traits are a little... Like, yes, I sucked it up and got subspatial warheads because I... It's a torpedo boat you had to. Like, I don't... You know, so I don't have... Um, what is it? The cooldown one. The one from the Klingon ship. I can't remember. I have it on my science tune. And my main talk but it's like i'm using you know withering barrage for the cannons subspecial warheads because yeah uh theta because i do have the romulan legendary pack so i use this because the omega gives you an extra torp uh etm of course wrap permitting armaments because that synergizes so well with carrier wave shield hacking no, not not rune. Like that's another expensive one. No, um, the one that reduces the torpedo cooldown time. I can't. Uh, you gotta make me look it up. Like yeah, I'll pull. I'll pull out the. Yeah, ceaseless, ceaseless momentum. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll pull it out and show you. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, the only reason I have it on this tune is because I was able to get it in the box from... When it was, it was in a box, so yeah. Yeah, ter yeah Terran... Actually, no, I'm not even using Ceaseless anymore. That's right. Yeah, I'm using Terran Goodbye. Very expensive. Universal Designs. Very expensive. Subspatial. Rapid Emitting. Yeah, see, I'm using Rune and ETM. So, yeah, I stopped using Ceaseless on this. I forgot about that. Because, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, that same can be said with so many of these good traits. It's you get the you get the trait and then you just dry dock the ship. Uh, which one is that again? That's um, it is. It's another torpedo trait. I remember. It's actually not bad, especially as a substitute for some of the more expensive ones. I'll know it when I see it, but... <clears throat> yeah, it's pier yeah, piercing projectiles, I believe. So it, it's, it is a, it's a really good sea store trait. And if you don't have some of the more expensive, like, you know, ceaseless, tearing by universal designs, yeah, it's actually really good. Because, yeah, extra shield pen for torpedoes is always, always a good thing. But it's like, I, I swear, because I remember, like, I, I dropped ceaseless for UD because I, I, was lucky enough to be given the CrossFit from a very good friend of mine. And then I used one of my boxes I had for uh, the Deimos for the Phaser Lance. Because those two synergize so well. Uh, the Mirica Garen, I would put... Uh, let's see, what did I have on it? Because I think I had it on this tune too.
Well, just keep doing, uh, make sure you do your event campaign, because that will give you good ships, too. But I, I know that, that struggle. I, believe me, I do. Like, it's, I've, I've been very fortunate the past year, year and a half that I've been able to acquire some things. And, like I said before, a couple of friends of mine have helped me out. Which is always, you know, a big, a big help. But yeah, the the DPS chase is not cheap, and it's not really meant for everyone. I don't recommend every player get involved in it because it's going to require a lot of a lot of money and a lot of time. Uh, let me get out of here. Hang on, Dwayne. I want to see what I... Because I, I can't remember what I put on, on it. Like, I think I put a cannon build on mine. Because I, I remember when I when the Mirror Kagarin first came out, I actually got a better record with it over the, the Sea Store Kagarin, which shocked me. So yeah, I did a cannon, a cannon turret build. Kind of a budget, kind of not. Like again, like my alts don't have a lot of stuff. And like th this is basically like a um, a stew build because you know using stew's favorite uh, trait. But I think that this got me just, I think, right around. Th Hang on. I honestly don't remember. Let's take a quick peek. Like, I'm, I'm personally, I'm still unsure what I'm going to pick up. For my event prize. Yeah, see, I, I did 330, 336 in this build. On this tune. So. Even though you wouldn't think a 4-4 would be good for a cannon build, but it still did pretty damn well. But this... Uh... But with this tune, I just love the um, the, the angle, the mere strike wing. In all honesty, Sphinx, I've actually seriously, and you'll laugh with approval, I'm actually seriously considering getting the J. Strictly for the memes and for trolling. It's up there. The um, the CrossFit's up there for my science tune. You know, for Hannah here, because technically her flagship is the legendary. The legendary cross field, and it's so that's why I'm kind of thinking the the crosser would be a good fit for her. But almost all of her builds are science based anyway, so I kind of don't really need another one because I still have to fix half of her builds because half of them are broken from the loadout bugs. So that you know, thinking of that, I'm also thinking. I am thinking the courage is also up there too, because I know how good I know just how good that ship can be. But it's with some of the builds I don't like. I don't have all the equipment on on my tack team. Like the like my main tune limb, my Ferengi. He has like everything he needs for GPS and tanking, but 
the um, he doesn't have the needed things for um, what you call it for control builds, which is his weakness. So in all honesty, putting the the courage on him might not. Because I don't have things like a proof of tonic officer or plasma storm, it's but we'll see. Yeah, that's true, Sphinx. I know it's <clears throat> a lot of people have said that. But I'm also I might I might just say screw it and actually pick up the lobby. Even though there's nothing really in the lobby store right now that I truly need. Yes, there's some things I want, but <clears throat> but I'm I don't know yet. So I'm just gonna leave it for now, and we'll see. Cause like at least for the time being, I'm I'm done with the DPS chase for the time being. I probably will pick it up again in the future. So we'll see. And I'm also still sitting on another infinity infinity ship box lock box in, in my bank, so you know that's I used I had two of them. I used one to pick up the Cali and then and I gave that to my science tune so she'd have a, a non science build. And plus that console is actually really good on science ships. So I don't know, it's they like said I'm still sitting on one, we'll see what we get over you know the course of the next few months what ships because I'm you know like I said I'm cha changing my play style my attitude that it's you know I want to just you know relax and have fun but also kind of stay in tune with meta just in case and help people if and when they want it like Dwayne's a perfect example we've been trying for a while and we finally not only got him to 100k, we got him to 200k. And I cheered louder for him getting 200k than I did when I got 1.8 million. It's I'd rather see, I'd rather help people achieve their goals and surpass them than, than mine. Really? Well, there, there's no real reveal. It's one of the worst kept secrets that, you know, we're getting the far point jellyfish. It's just the only thing that's still a secret is, you know, what type of ship is it is, the seating, the trait, the console. But it also doesn't surprise me that we're going to get something else, too. It's, it's the season, so... Like, we just got the Lower Decks Vulcan ship. And, of course, it was a promo like many people have suspected. It's a nice-looking ship. Don't get me wrong. It looks beautiful. Thomas and his team did another outstanding job. But it's... At least in my opinion, it was another... You know, side torp build that we already have several other ships in the game that can do the exact same build, so... And, again, all due respect to Bort... Stop with the shields, please. I know you you think and you want shield tanking to become a thing. Yes, some of the things you've he's they've done is making it closer to reality, and I know some of the crazy mad scientists in the game can actually do it, but please, no more shields. I'd be very curious to see what the next ship the next premium ship is going to be well we're gonna we are getting that that's thomas has already said that that's coming he's put it in the game but it's just a question of what pat what, when it's going to be put into the patch so we should be getting it i would say within the next week or two and I'm looking forward to seeing that in person because, again, that, yeah, that that skin is, did not age well at all. So Dwayne's sitting right here. I'm going to grab him. So 
smorgasbord. God damn sphinx. Oh, uh, you're, na you're naming, you're naming conventions and just like chef's kiss. Seriously, chef's kiss. <laughs> oh, I don't know what we do without you, Sphinx. Seriously. <laughs> Let's see what we get. I wish I just had a a thread of your creativity, man. I really do. <clears throat> oh, we got space. <laughs> now you say, of course. Why aren't you on auto? Just for shits and giggles. Let's see. Yeah. We need remasters of a lot of the original ships. But. You know, they, they've said it time and time again. They want There's so much that they want to do, but they just can't. They don't have the time. With a name like that, I should hope so, Sphinx. Oh, someone's in a Section 31. Oh, bad pilot. So you gotta nuke the other side? Yeah. Yeah, saw that coming. Uh, yep, there we go. Uh, death. <laughs> Hang on a second. Is that guy in the Section 31 really using sentry mode? He is. Come on, man. Not that ship. You must be a stew fan. Let's see how bad that was. I know it's just ISA, but... And torpedo torpedo boats don't do that well in ISAs. It's, ISA, it's about um, scatter volley builds. Yeah, still the 220. Not my best showing, but oh well. And we didn't AFK anyone, that's always a plus. Hey, Solok, how you doing, man? Good to see ya. Let's see, did it kick? Yeah. Oh, wow, it kept us together. Wow, I'm shocked. <laughs> oh, I'm doing good, man. Doing really good, actually. You know, just relaxing, chilling. You know, shooting the shit with everyone, blowing shit up, you know, you know how it goes. See how many times I end up dying tonight, too. 
That was one. <laughs> <clears throat> the Earhart's... The Earhart's... Yeah. Earhart is a solid ship, period. It can do pretty much anything very well. Oh, and speaking of solid ships that can do almost everything, the Styx is another one that's up on my list for one of my alts, too. Like, I'll be honest, I've been recommending the sticks to a lot of people. Because I do th I do think it is one of the best well-rounded uh, ships in the game. Nice. Nice, Dark. Yeah, I just ha I have a cannon bill of mine on my... Uh, Andorian themed alien disco tune. My engineer. <clears throat> I'm waiting for them to put this. I hope we get the sticks in the muds. Like, that's probably one of the top ships that people have been asking for in a MUDS bundle for a while now. Now, I only, I only have the one. I almost had two. I came very close, but... I was like, nope. I'll be honest, part of me is regretting not getting, the second, getting a second or a third one, but... Yeah. Like that's why I got I I did pick up the uh, the delta that delta quadrant muds bundle with the uh, juggy and the quavi. So I have the quavi set up on I think four tunes now. So uh, Terran five threes. Trying to think what. Did everyone come to this side for crying out loud? Yeah, they did. Oh, maybe not. No, they did. Uh, people. Yeah, a lot, a lot of my tunes had Terran Air, Empire Terran theme, and I've kind of pushed that away. The, the Mirrored Warship's 4-4, isn't it? And I'm also in the minority that the Mirror Warship I don't like. Oh, Oh, there's trouble. Like the the mirror warship, fantastic trait, but I actually don't like how the ship is. I don't like how it flies, and I don't like the seating. In all honesty, I don't like that double commander. Hey, Vex, how are ya? There's my good friend Vex. She's also she's new to YouTubing. I don't have a command for her yet. I keep meaning to. Right now she is doing playthroughs of Mass Effect. We also she also has a video coming out later this week featuring Yours truly. That was a fun video, and yeah, several jokes were made at my expense. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is, Sphinx. Yes, it is.
And I feel you on that. It's 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 weird not working tonight, Vex. <laughs> Very weird. This is only like one of a handful of Sundays I ever have off, so I figured why not? Let me stream. Especially because Augie Augie rescheduled. I guess he's still under the weather. Well, I'm also that is true. And I'm all uh, I'll be I'll be editing the other one we all did the other night on Tuesday. Oh, so I should have that one out probably Thursday. Yeah, he'll he'll be okay. It's at least he like when when he announced he was rescheduling. It's like at least he realized in the afternoon he's not in the right mindset. So. And I'm also hoping that it, depending on how much time we have tomorrow, Vex, maybe we can do the other video we were talking about. Depending on. How the other ones go, that is. <laughs> and Vex, if you want to put the link to your channel in chat, please go right ahead. You're a VIP, so you're allowed to post links. And remind me tomorrow to... Actually, no. Don't remind me tomorrow because I'm not going to break my stream deck. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll remember for next time I can... Set up the command for you. And have I said how much I love this ship? Oh, Dark, Dark, um... Do you have the 10th Anniversary Pack? Because I just realized another one that... Another five three that could work for you, if you have the if you have the the tenth anniversary. Okay. So that that's Vex's Vex's YouTube channel and. You guys could all do us bo both a big solid and go over there and hit the sub button. As I said, right now she's working on doing playthroughs of Mass Effects and there's other games in the future. She's very new to YouTubing, so please also be kind. <laughs> she's a very good friend of mine and a co-worker, so... If you piss her off, she takes out on me at work, so... <laughs> Keep that in mind as well, please. <laughs> and I promise you the video that is scheduled to come out Tuesday... That like I said, features, features myself and another one of our friends, co-workers. And yeah, there were several shots. <laughs> Several shots taken at me during it. <laughs> uh, 
Dark, do you have? Did you get the this year? Did you get the tenth this year's pack? We are the uh, the twelfth anniversary with the Terran ships. Did you get that one this year? <coughs> Sean twenty eighty two. Thank you for the follow, man. Welcome to the Dog Collective. So let's see. Uh, okay, the tra yeah, because the, tra the Trailblazer is one I was thinking of. Even though it's not a full 5-3. Let's take a look. Let's see what I have active. Maybe that will get some create creative juices flowing. Yeah. It that ship desperately needs help turning. Okay, the warship is 5-3. Yeah, th this was another example of the one of those ships I got for the trait and haven't flown since. <laughs> uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, because it's only it's only a four three. Like it, it's mostly set up for side torp. Yeah, the Cygnus is a 5-3, but one, Dark doesn't have it, and two, it's not... It's a beam overload ship, not a Torp. Like, we were doing some stupid high numbers with this ship when um, the Agni console was, uh, was bugged. Like, we were getting, like, 9, 10 million max hits. We were getting, like million million and a half dps without even trying on uh you know channel runs again it's a ship i got messed around with it i still have to play with this trait because neo neo jet i think it was it was neo jet or stargate suggested it possible to use this on some of my control builds so uh yeah, th this makes for a really good torp boat, but like Dark said, it just doesn't really. She, tur it's such a bitch to turn. Like even if you, the only way to make it better is to sacrifice some of your damage consoles for turning ones and sacrificing a bridge officer ability to put a can't to put scatter volley. Well, which you should have Scarvalli anyways if you're doing Torps for ETM, but to get uh, Death Cannon here. Uh, the... Uh, do I have it unpacked on this tune? I swore I did, because... I have the trait. Did I dry dock it? Did I dry dock it? Nope. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's a 5 3. <clears throat> but it's. I'll fly it. That's okay. So we did get kicked. But I don't. 
Like, it has temporal seating, I know that. Oh, it's a 5-2. No, it's temporal intel. So the thing is, like, if you're gonna go torpedo boats, you need you need a lieutenant commander command because you need concentrate firepower three and only firepower three. Yeah, the the Galax and the Venji are very neck and neck in things. Yeah, because the, the only one other one that off the top of my head that I was thinking of that would work for you, but you don't have it, would have been the uh, the Legendary Odyssey from the 10th pack. Like, yeah, I have mine set up as a tank, but this thing, it, I know it's a 4-4, but I know several people who've done fantastic things with this as a torp boat. And in all honesty, if you're going the way of Torps, 4-4 four, four is the way to go, not 5-3. Because the 4-4 the four, four ships are out DPSing the 5-3 on the extreme high end. They get, you know, the, their defense vessel, aka the Tooth, is the number one of uh, the fleet Malakoski. You know, the fleet Clark, Tier 6, Miranda is also up there. Same with the sticks. And they're all 4-4s. Four four yeah, 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 Sphinx. Yeah, look at this build. That tells you how long it's been since I've actually really, really flew it anyways. <laughs> Remember back when, like, Trillium D was a thing? <laughs> This is another ship I keep saying I'm going to pull it and rebuild, do a surgical strikes on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time since I've flown it. I know, like, JB and I were talking about this ship. I still have to... It's just that it's not a build. This is a junk. This is holding junk. That... Uh, about our uh, budget tanks, how he's doing it on this, and actually getting good results. I'm doing mine on the um, on this. <laughs> yeah, uh, I I don't use a disco three piece. I know some people do. Like, I, I use the Delphic because it's... But they're lobby items, so if you don't have them, then, yeah, the Discovery is the way to go for the energy for the uh, energy weapon. Yeah, but it, but in all honesty, Dark, if you're going to be looking at it from a pure DPS point of view, the damage you're getting when you combine the weapon and the three-piece is still below what a fourth mine would give you. Like, I, I do feel you. It's like, I, I prefer 5.3s myself. I actually do. I'm not a fan of 4.4s, four but I've learned to like them and fly them. Yeah, because if you look at it, roughly, okay, hang on, let me, let me look it up, hang on.
Let me take a look. Just give me a second here. <clears throat> okay, I'm I'm looking at Yes, the Presidio. I don't have those ships. I kind of regret not getting them, but they're really actually good. Okay. When I'm looking at my record parse... Eight... In total, out of the the beam bank, I got 19k DPS. That's it, firing standard and with its built-in overcharge. I got 19, 19k out of it, give or take. The lowest mine... So 19k out of the beam bank. The lowest mine was one thorn infused at 32k. So it's a big it's a big jump. Now granted the discovery beam bank does hit a hell of a lot harder. And it does have its innate its built in um, crit as well. But if you actually look at your record parse and you see, like you look at that and you look at where your last mine is, you'll see a big difference. Like, uh, I was in the exact same mindset as you, thinking, okay, 5-3 better, but it's, when you actually start to analyze these logs... And you see the results, it's actually, wow. Because... Jeez, I gotta, I gotta dig that back out too. I have too many ships I don't fly. And yeah, we keep, I keep saying we gotta get a hold of Grumpy. We've been putting this off for like months. We've been putting off our... Uh, Eisenberg tank off for months. <clears throat> but yeah, working on... There we go. I'm working on this as like a, a more budget-friendly tank. I am going to swap out the, the Bowels for uh, Disruptors. After talking with uh, JB and uh, Ice and Tabby. Because Ta uh, Tabitha, Tabby, she's building one as well. And it's one I'm looking at. And we're, we're going to do a budget tank off in the near future too. Yeah, that's basically the Kelvin D7 is the exact, exact same. Like, seating-wise. I, I think she has... I don't know if I have it. No, she doesn't have it. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, okay. Oh, good. She's on ESD. Uh, let's see. Do I... Yeah, it, it's a 5-2 with command, command and pilot seating.
Oh, of course. The, the, currently, this, this is my temporal tune. And as of right now, she is still, you know, Rathacon era themed. But once I'm done, once I'm done everything, so I just have a little more, uh, what is that? A little more specialization points. And a few, just like Admiralty and Duty Officer. Even I might just skip those, we'll see. Uh, I'm going to be switching her to a Kelvin theme. Like, I already have the Kelvin jacket ready for her. Let me get a different spot. And the, do, 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 where is it? My blind. And the, you know, the Calvin uniform. So. And yeah, she, I love the Jack's cannon. I have to have that. And I have, so I already got, I have the Kel Kelvin we uh, rep weapons ready for her and her boffs. I have a set of Kelvin space weapons, which I'm, I kind of don't want to use, but you need it for the theme, because these are the worst phasers in the game. That proc is disgusting. And I'm, I actually enjoy the Kelvin pistols. I was playing around with them the other day. They're actually kind of cool. The rifles, not so much, but... But yeah, I gotta work on her doffs too, or her boffs, make them all Kelvin theme. What number? Nope, sorry, didn't mean to smack the mic. Is that you? That must be, because you're in PSB. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I've, I see you in the PSB Discord, yeah. Yeah, my, my mains are in the PSB fleets. My alts are in other fleets. Funny enough, all in the STO Armada. <laughs> Don't ask me how that happened. Because <laughs> that was not planned. I'm guessing that was Dwayne that just went running by. Nope, maybe not. <laughs> nope, it was Sphinx. <laughs> uh, you know what, I might do a couple randoms in this tune. Not the best uh, build, but it works. And again, this is another kind of theme tune, like double theme tune, like yeah, it's you know, Wrath of Khan, Kelvin theme, eventually. I have to have the TOS Terran, of course. <laughs> Gotta give her a different haircut. I'm not a fan of that. So. Okay, I'm gonna go for a quick smoke, everyone. I'll be back in a couple of minutes.
Don't go by the book. Think like a pirate. And we're back, and I see a JB in chats. <laughs> yo, yo. Hey, JB, how's it going tonight? Going pretty good. How about you? Doing great, man. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Dark, did you want to join for some randoms? Uh, I see you're at ESD. Let me join you. Okay. Welcome, Dark. Yo, 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 yo. How's it going? Going pretty good. Going pretty good. Haven't been in here in a while, and I saw you guys were in here. I was like, why not? Exactly. Hello, Dark, how you doing? Hey, JB, it's been a while. Absolutely, it's been a while. How the fuck are you? Oh, sorry, I can't. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, you can. This is Twitch. Oh. You're allowed. It's not YouTube. <laughs> well, you know, some people might be a little funny about it. You know? Nah, I don't. I don't fucking care. <laughs> Fuck For the record, watch your fucking, fucking mouth. <laughs> yeah, JB, a uh, lot changed since the last time I ran with you. I got my first 700k with Augie. Brilliant. Torpedo. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, we got Dwayne over. Oh, uh, well, we got, yeah, I saw we got that. over 100k and almost 200k actually. I saw that, and I was like, really, I was like, wow. I always love watching people get new records. Yep. Yeah, he, he went from just about 87K to almost 200K in a matter of 30 minutes. What'd y'all put him in? Uh, Temporal Light Cruiser Torpedo Boat. Temporal Light Cruiser? I don't know that ship. The T T6 Connie promo ship. Ah. Uh, that's the one uh, Augie gave him. Is that the... Uh... Wait a minute. T... Is that the Kelvin looking T6 nope. Connie? No, no this is the uh, TMP Connie. TMP. Oh, motion picture. Yeah, the actual tier six Connie. That's an old ship though. But it's still good. It still performs well. <laughs> yeah, it's Scotty a. Scotty would be proud. Yep, it's a f <laughs> f f five three command temporal. So yeah, screams torpedoes. Uh, did you invite me? Yep. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Well, this, like I said, uh, this one is uh, my um, the ship that I'm running. Uh, just having a little bit of fun with it is my fleet. 
uh, angle strike wing escort. It's my torp bomber. Okay, I, I tell you, that's uh, a very good ship. Uh, um, uh oh, oh, I see someone running towards us. Let's see, is it okay? It's a normal one, <laughs> not nightmare yeah, fuel. <laughs> I just been having a little bit of fun with it. It was actually oh. my first, uh, my not my first, my second torpedo <clears throat> boat. I went from the the fleet escort, the Hephaestus. You remember that one? Yep. I went from that one to this one because I wanted to get a little bit more damage out of it uh, with the pets. And then I ended up getting last year's uh, promo ship thing done, and I finally got my Section 31 Battlecruiser. Uh, and that's the ship I got 700k in, but right now I'm like, all right, until I get another ship, I'm just having fun. <laughs> And I cannot play the exchange like some people, so I don't have enough credits to buy a new ship. <clears throat> I break brags. Uh, this is one of my alts. It's not one of my mains, so it's it's a for fun build, for fun tune. So it's not. She can hold her own, but not meant to do a lot of damage. All right, Ramius, is that a Hunt for Red October reference? Very good. Oh, God, Sphinx. You had to say something, didn't you? <laughs> that is... What, what happened? Oh. I, I've seen that one. Uh, I swear you posted that one on Twitter before, but seeing it in person. Oh. What the hell is that? Yeah, that... And, and in my head canon. <laughs> Valdemar Ramius is his ancestor was the uh, mirror timeline market Marco Ramius. Oh, and, and let me guess in that timeline, the mirror time verse, he actually did fire on the U.S. Did he? He led a coup against the Russian government and took over, okay. Okay. or against the Soviet government. He orchestrated the assassination of. Um, Mikhail Gorbachev and installed himself as a supreme overlord. Uh, You're and, just like me. And had a um, entire fleet of Red Octobers built. Okay. Now, but... with all this, I, I want to ask y'all a question real quick before we get started. Sure, this, sure. This is just speculation. With all the emphasis that they have been putting on Terran ships, mirror universe missions, um, and whatnot, do you think they might be hedging at possibly finally giving us a Terran Empire faction? All right, Sphinx. See you later. Have a good night. Good night, Sphinx. Good to see you, man. Sleep well. Uh, as much as we'd want that, I they're not going to. I think they already said they weren't. Why not? Well, one, it's time and money that they, they don't, don't. They don't have enough developers. They don't have enough uh, manpower to fully fledge out a Terran universe timeline for players to do. They'd have to make a bunch of new assets and, quite, and like they said, they're, they're short manpower and they just don't have the time. Yeah, because they'd have to make a whole new, like, tutorial for it, you know, three to five beginning missions, and then how do you incorporate it into the Prime, you know, the, S the Prime STO timeline? It's... I mean, they did it pretty much the same thing with uh, Lita. I mean, just get stranded over here or do the same thing they did with Lorca or, you know. Yeah, but, but they've also... But also, a few of the devs have also said that as popular as the Terrans are, they don't want to keep um, celebrating them because of the negativity with Terrans. Well, yeah, you, know, you could say the same thing about Swotor. I mean, yeah. everybody wants, you know, why celebrate the Sith so much? I mean, well, because they're mm -hmm. the coolest freaking characters in the story. Yeah, so, but let's see, yeah. let's see what we get. All right, so, yep, let's... Like, like, don't get me wrong, I, I kind of do wish we would have a proper Terran missions, like a Terran character, but... 
And I'm wondering if it might be because they don't want to lose out all the money on all the uh, extra items that you have to pay for in order to get like the yeah. mirror universe uniform. Some of the, you know, they would have to come out with a relatively inexpensive legendary Terran Empire starter pack. They would have to make it cheaper. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it'll be interesting to see, you know, next year what the new storyline will be. I think the last time they came out with a new tutorial for anything with Victory is Life. Well, they they revamped the KDF one for the for the KDF recruit. They mm -hmm. just re they just revamped the 2409. I and, think next I think next year we're getting Romulus. It yeah, makes, it, it makes sense because Romulus is the only other asset that's hopelessly outdated. Oh. What the hell? What happened, Dwayne? Well, they they said that pre-COVID, that it was supposed to be a year of the Klingon, then a year of 2409, and then Romulus. But, unfortunately, COVID stretched the year of the Klingon to two years. And stretched this storyline to two years as well. As long as you think about it, you know, new Romulus itself is really badly outdated. The, uh, the whole Romulan uh... <clears throat> Story arc is really badly outdated. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, we get? Oh joy. Ooh. Okay. This will work. <laughs> I need to really. I've been messing with my my tray here for my spam bar. I've been trying to fix it. Eh, no worries, Dwayne. We'll get you on the next one. An escort with 120k hull. Go figure. <laughs> hey, Commander Kitty. Yep, I've been playing since the beginning as well. Even though, yes, there's been a few times I've taken some extended breaks, but... Like, I, I remember... I remember the cues to get in the game back in the beginning. I remember when you had to level up a Federation team, the level 20, before you could even make a Klingon. Yep, I remember that too. Because the only way to play Klingon was do patrols and PvP to level. That was it. Yep. Fun times. My main was a Klingon after that. <laughs> of course, PvP was not like it is now, where everybody's doing dogfights in Karat. Yeah. And God, yes, I'm, I miss the Foundry. It makes you wonder how many actual storyline missions actually got inspired by the Foundry. Probably a lot, because there was so many Foundry missions. Like, in so many good missions, too. Oh, yeah. And, I'm, like, I'm not just talking about, you know, the ones people made for, for Endeavors when the Endeavor system came out. I'm talking about, like, real story missions that were really good. Yep, fun is the most important thing. That's what I've been telling people a lot lately. Just play the game your way and have fun. Don't let others bully you into playing a way you don't want to play. Bye-bye, Cruiser.
Like our good friend Grumpy says, Grumpy Old Nord says, you know, STO is basically a Star Trek playground. Yeah, you can do whatever the hell you want. Yep. If you can think it, you can do it. Pretty much. I've seen plenty of people, like, uh, I ran with somebody yesterday, they were really working on making an actual, like, uh, Defiant build from, like, uh, DS9. Yep. I mean, it wasn't going to break any record, but it was really fun to watch him play it. Yep. Yeah, uh, Stu's done a few of those. I've done a couple of those, too. It's it's fun doing theme builds. <clears throat> the, the only thing I tell people is just stay away from Ryza during, when the summer event's not on unless you're okay with ERP. They do that oh, it's, it's ERP and it's disgusting. Yeah. It, it's Trekkies. What do you expect? <laughs> Everybody's wanting to be Captain Kirk. Pretty much. Like, I haven't had, uh... You know, Talaxian yet. We <laughs> are <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> All the BDSM people want to be Klingons. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that follow. Welcome to the Dog Collective. If I would have known you were streaming before, uh, I'm going to call you M Dog just for short. Time. Yeah, yeah. Or um, Mikey. You can just call me Mikey. Uh, if I would have known you were streaming before when we were all playing together, I would have followed a long time ago. Yeah, no worries. I usually. Nope. Okay, that doesn't count. Yeah, I usually don't stream Sunday nights because it's Augie's night. And But when he said he wasn't going to stream, I changed my schedule and, and said, why the hell not? Because originally I was going to stream uh, Final Fantasy VII in the afternoon. Remake? Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. I have it. I need to... I never did finish the um, hard mode. I was... Two or three missions away. Ah. Uh. It is hard. <laughs> Have you done it yet? Uh, I just, I've only done the first chapter. What, in like the whole story? or? Yeah, yeah. I just picked it up. Oh, dude. Have fun with it. it oh, I'm going fun. to. Oh, I'm going to. It's. I already, like, I recorded and released part one. And I was going to do, like I said, I was going to stream it, but when Augie said he wasn't going to stream, I was like, okay, I'll stream Stow tonight instead. And then I'll, uh, I'll film the other parts this week. What I might end up doing is just recording the base game and then streaming uh, Yuffie's stuff. I haven't gotten that yet. Is that a DLC that you got to pay for? Uh, I believe so for PlayStation. For PC, it comes with it. What is it for PC, anyway? Uh, well, the Epic Cell just finished. I picked it up for 55 bucks. It's normally like 90, 95 plus tax. Well, I'm in Canada, so I don't know how much it is US. That's how much it was for me. So I'm guessing for you, probably 70, 75. But it it's gorgeous on PC. I have a good enough computer I could probably run it fairly yeah. well. I, I might have to get my controller and break it out. Yeah, but I'm I'm using a controller. I, I I messed around with it for like a couple of minutes before I started recording and I'm like, nope, it has to be a controller. Ooh. Bye bye. Tough little ship. Little. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I actually um, wish I could have got, uh, gotten to meet Michael Dorn. That would have been awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> I love watching the little bloopers from when they were. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, he's like Jesus. Yeah, that's one of his <laughs> best ones. It was like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and the look on Patrick Stewart's face was priceless. It was like, oh, <laughs> I love, I, I remember watching one of the behind the scenes. He, they were talking about how he was actually uh, 
berating them because they were playing around too much. And then the next day, he does a, a prank yep. on them, and they're all looking at him like, wait, what? <laughs> ah, stupid ionic turbulence. What, did you die? No, this made me slide all over the place. Yeah, DJ Grom, that's entertaining. Let's just say that, Dwayne. <laughs> if I'm in a bad mood on Tuesday night, I'm like, okay, I'll just watch DJ Grom for like a half hour and then I'm all better. I hear a lot of bloop bloops going on, and it's not just for me. Who else is running a tort boat? Not me. This is a beam overload. Yeah, me neither. I, I'm running. Uh, I'm running pulse phaser beam overload. Yeah, me too. And the bloop we'll be hearing is probably my uh, dark mirror quantum's going off. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm using that too with spread. Yeah, same here. I got. I got them on spread three. Spread two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're on right, spread right two. Well, we gotta go back in. No. Okay. Yeah, in eighteen seconds. We killed the right. command ships too quick. How long do you think it's going to take us to burn this one? Eight seconds. That's why I like the fleet Malachowski, is you get dressed up like a Soyuz and it just has beams coming out of everything. Yeah, the... Actually, I don't... Is this the... No, I never got the fleet version for this tune, so it's... But I have the Soyuz because I like the, the third shuttle bay. Because it makes sense on this, you know, with the, uh, with the pets. So that's the hangar. <laughs> I love that dialogue. You need to the shut. The keeps going even though it's destroyed. <laughs> yeah, you, you need to to get rid of the gateways to kill the dreadnought when the dreadnought's already dead. Yeah, I made a few changes based on Augie's recent phaser meta and big difference in performance. I did yeah. a. Um, yeah, this is this is just. The, yeah, this is just the legendary version. So. Uh, the Terran Trailblazer. I did a cannon scatter volley build. That's rather interesting. It's not a full <clears throat> science build. I think the only science ability I really have is Tycan's Rift. Everything. It's a drain to destroy everything. Oh, if you want to talk about draining, JB's one to talk talk to. He's he has one of the better drainers out there. <laughs> Are we still on group, or did we disband? Nope, we're still on group. Because yeah, just to oh. give you a, a good idea about my drainer, uh, it puts tack cubes to sleep in ISC. Hmm. Well, like I said, this is not really a like pure drainer it's just i use tykan's riff it buffs something and something in my build makes it go pew pew harder just trying to remember what it is no max <clears throat> bad dog go lay down yeah drain is like one of the only types of builds i haven't really touched one of these days, I want to copy my whole uh, burn torp side build uh, over onto a tactical and see how it feels. Yeah, but that that's gonna take a lot. You're gonna of, like it. A lot of EC and money and time. <laughs> mm -hmm. I put a I put a torp uh, a side torp on the legendary Glenn, and I'm not sorry that I did. Yeah. Yeah, I I, the, I, the I had that I had that set up too, except the loadout bug fucked that, so I still haven't rebuilt it. I had the basic uh, cross field, which you know somebody was nice enough because they knew I wanted it for a while, and they were like, "Well, here, like, wait, what?" <laughs> but it's still not the best version of it. No. Yeah, that thirty-second century is an absolute monster. No. Oh. Oh. Max. Stop. <laughs> no. No, sir. Alright, so who wants to solo which one? I'm going right. 
I'm going left. I'll go left. No, you go mid. Okay. <laughs> I already <laughs> called left. Bye bye, cube. <laughs> the nanites are still there. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm actually surprised I could do it on this tune. <laughs> Did we lose somebody, or did we just do a private private? No, the the last random just never is only get just getting into the map now. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. To that random, I do apologize, because, yeah, you're going to get an AFK penalty. Because Max, you're... get out from under the desk. Bad dog, move. Don't make me grab the lightsaber. No, you don't like it. No. All right. Here we go. Um, <laughs> what? Were we fighting something? <laughs> what a simulated carrier. <laughs> it, went, <laughs> it was there and it got deleted. <laughs> All right. I made the mistake of coming out. Beaming in right, right, uh, right in front of me on its flank. Ah! Uh, and that poor pug just got AFK'd. Yep. Ah! Uh -huh. Hi, doggy. No. Yeah, you, you don't like it, do you? Nah. Hi, doggy. <laughs> woof woof. Uh, yeah, Dwayne, the Soyuz doesn't get enough love, if you ask me. Agreed. Nice thing about the uh, Soyuz in-game is that all those sensor pods are also weapon hardpoints. Hold on a second. Yeah, yeah. So the ship is just literally oozing weapon fire. Yeah. And I, I don't care what, you know, they say in, you know, all the encyclopedias and manuals. I do count those as weapon ports, not sensor ports. They're both. There's weapon ports there, but they hide the there's sensor ports, but they hide the weapon ports. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Yeah. But yeah, my dog doesn't like the lightsaber. He, he freaks out. It's a good way to get him to be. Hey. <laughs> you were saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that, 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 that's why I'm usually like, that's how I get his attention. If he's acting like yeah. an ass, I'm like, he, uh, I have a $300 lightsaber. Ooh. Yes. One of my most expensive toys besides my computer. <laughs> no. One of those light up hero ones? No, 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 no. This is a, uh, the hilt itself cost me a hundred. The core and the blade cost me 200 something. Uh, it comes fully programmable. It comes with like, uh, base. It comes with like 40 different fonts. The blade, uh, is a NeoPixel blade. So it has all the scrolling effects and really nice stuff to it. And whenever I change it to a different font with a different hero uh, font to it, like let's say, you know, Luke Skywalker, when I activate it, it turns green. If I change it to Anakin, it turns blue. Uh, has dark sabers, white, but it has the dark saber sound. Nice. And the that's awesome. Is, the hilt is actually modeled after one of my favorite characters in Star Wars universe, Darth Revan. Oh. What? Oh. Why Revan is, is awesome. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, I thought you were doing the answer. No, no, no. No, your lightsaber is awesome. This TFO, however. Yeah, Darth yeah. Revan's lightsaber is uh, kind of cool. I do like his. Uh, it's the silver with the gold emitter. It's not the, the black one that everybody sees. It's the one that you see in the cutscenes in the original game. 
See, I like the cross hilt saber. Oh, you like Wino Wrens? Emo Wren. Wino. Oh my god, I didn't want to be like my grandfather. <laughs> yeah. Kylo Emo. Things aren't going my way, so I'm going to smash this console. That's probably very important. <laughs> I like it that scene where those two stormtroopers can walk down the corridor, sir, that look at each other like, nope, turn around and walk the other way. Not today. <laughs> Sorry, just give me a second. I've got to check something. No, you're good. All right, where do you get the red gravity well from? Is that a starship trade, or is that just a... Yeah, improved gravity well. <clears throat> um, temporal anchor. Legendary, uh, legendary uh, discovery. Ah. It's, um, it's more of a PvP trait now, actually. Oh, we're getting a lot of people in here. Testing, testing, hello, and... Hola, guten tagen. So that's, yeah, that is Jordy. Woo! Well, hello, Vex. Hey, Vex. Oh. Probably turned down the volume of the stream on my iPad, so we don't get a nice echo. Echo, echo, echo. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? It's heinous, anus, anus, anus. <laughs> Wait, Wait, anybody play oh. Gamma? Doesn't look no. like it. Heading there now. Yeah, I'm there now. But no, I'm not dead, so that's... That's uh, a bonus. Not far from it, but not I mean, dead. not being dead mm -hmm. is good. Only on the inside. Yeah. <clears throat> Escorts with torps. This just almost seems unfair. <laughs> oh, I see a new. Oh no, it's in Kathy. Remember, target the cruisers first. What cruiser? Oh, Cruise cruiser. I barely knew her. Okay, there, Talon. Oh, it's the oldest joke in the book. Gotta, <laughs> I gotta know. do it. <laughs> and I forgot, you gotta hit him from behind. Hit it like you mean it. Well, at least it's better than Iconians. I'd rather deal with Iconians. No, you don't. We dealt with Iconians last night on Augie with Augie, and yeah, it was not fun. Because you know that those stupid raiders don't die when they're at zero percent. Yep, the <coughs> angry butthole of death, as Augie would call it. <laughs> oh, I've known men like that. 
Mm hmm. Too easy. Yep, joys of being a divorcee, everything comes back to your ex husband. <laughs> Speaking of which, the butt just realized that there was a second print in his birthday present. Oh, for fuck's sakes. He's only had it two weeks. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> yeah, spend 90 bucks on some Japanese woodblock print Gundams, and nope. He just now realized there were two. Woodblock print Gundams? Yeah, it's uh, like the Japanese woodblock style, and uh -huh. it's got like Gundams walking over like a, a temple background or in front of Mount Fuji across the rice paddies. Yeah, they're very pretty. Yeah, it's by uh, an artist called Jed Henry, and yeah, he does all of these video game reference or anime reference woodblock prints. I got the Ghost of Tsushima one because I really liked Ghost of Tsushima. And yet got him two Gundams for his birthday and I have eight Gunpla models that I have built. I've just never had the patience to sit down and do gun to do models. Same. Oh they're they're fun. I I have heard. I've got a friend who buys assembles and sells Gundam figures that he makes. I think one one of my master grades took me over two weeks to build. It was just that level uh, of detail. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I I don't have the patience for that either. Hell no. I I can chain mail myself a bodice, but if you want me to make a action figure, nope. Or any kind of figure. That's why any figure I have has been Pre-assembled, pre-painted, and shipped to me. Because I have no patience for that. I'm sorry if you don't like me doing that, but it's adding to the DPS. Doing what? Delayed overload cascade. Oh, I'm I'm on the other side of you, so it doesn't matter. I'm over here at Gamma with JB, so... <laughs> oh, so... Alright. So I'm over here soloing this, basically. <laughs> mm, pretty much. Do you want beta, JB? Yeah, I'll take beta. I'm heading over there now. Okay. Don't forget to do the satellites, JB. Cause... Uh, Roger. Cause Dwayne, don't do the satellites, please. We don't need engineering ones. Don't mind science, but definitely not engineering. Is you can't fire through that stupid cover shield. That's really something they need to fix. Can't fire in, can't fire out. Both. Yeah, because the engineering upgrade it puts a cover shield and you can't fire through it, but also the enemy can't, they can't fire through it either. Alright. Torps in front, I'll, I'll handle flanking in the back. Like, at least the science one, it's tractor beam, so it's semi-useful. What group is this? So... Oh, that's Valdemar. Okay, he's over here. You want me in the front? No, stay in Alpha. Hang on up there. Stay in Alpha? Or, yeah, one person, well, only one person at Beta. Uh, it actually doesn't matter. It's advanced. Who cares? Are you coming to join us, Vesta, or...? Oh. Yep, yep. Come on. Come on. There we go.
Okay. <laughs> Kindly please die. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Would you do me a favor? Do me a kindness. Just die. <laughs> I hate space turtles. <laughs> right. Yeah. They're, 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 they're so you're, just... <laughs> you're the nega version of the kid who does the I like turtles video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, in the hands of Zenkethi, Tetrion's actually good. For players, it sucks. Oh, we got we have a double spawn. <laughs> okay, ki kindly fuck off. Die, die, you fucker, die! Oh yay, they're getting deleted now. This is nice. Screw I'll it. Squeeze yeah. my million bucks out of you. <laughs> Screw it. I'm just gonna kill the dreadnoughts. It's only two minutes left. Wow, that was a nice rock re reference. <clears throat> they just don't make movies like that anymore. Nope. Regrettably, no. So good. Glass or plastic? Glass or plastic? <laughs> don't want me there. Glass jar or plastic bag? I had a friend that I used to play um, a lot of games with. Sadly, he's no longer with us. But he absolutely hated Nicolas Cage. For... He quite literally went on an hour and a half, two hour rant when there was rumors saying that uh, Nicolas Cage was going to be Superman. And he was like, <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, there were plans for him to be Superman. Yep. yep. I remember that. But then they gave it to... What's his face? Cavill. No, not him. The Oh, uh, Mike... Uh... Mr. Adam. The, the Adam from the Arrowverse. Fork. Which I thought that was kind of cool when they showed him in one of the episodes where, in the TV show where they were, he reprised his role as Superman, even though everybody recognized him as the Atom. Mm. Yeah. The, the only really good thing about Vampire's Kiss was that all the people on the streets did not know there was a movie being filmed, so all the reactions are genuine. Oh. Wait, what? The the horrible Nicolas Cage movie, like one of his early movies called Vampire's Kiss. Uh-huh. And yeah, it's just Nicolas Cage freaking out in downtown New York City, and no one knows it's a movie. So everybody who's looking at him like he's insane, that's a genuine, like, what the fuck? <laughs> I heard that uh, Nicolas Cage is doing some kind of new vampire movie. He's supposed to be portraying a Dracula much like the Christopher Lee Dracula. Which, that's gonna be interesting. I thought he was gonna do like a Nosferatu type thing. Well, I, that's another one where if Willem Dafoe has touched it, you're never going to. <laughs> or was it Willem or was that uh, John Malkovich that was the vampire in the Dracula? <clears throat> the Nosferatu movie. Oh, I don't know. Shadow with a Vampire. Which one? Oh, I, I it, it was. It was good. It was good. As a vampire connoisseur that I am, I, I didn't. Love Gary Oldman. Gary, uh, Gary Oldman. Oh, was good. Uh, Gary Oldman. The, 
for mm. for what a shining turd that movie was. I, that's a cult classic. I love it. Yep. Oh no, me too. Every time it's on, I will watch it. But like that movie was not next. good. Next, please for the. Can we? Can we? Can you give me just a moment before we go into the next one? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm gonna switch tunes anyways. All right. I'm gonna take him out and let him use the bathroom real quick, and then I'll be right back. It was John Malkovich Shit. and Willem Dafoe. Okay. So I was correct both times in Shadow of the Vampire. Yeah, I, I like Bram Stoker's Dra Dracula. I thought that was really well done. I'm still <clears throat> my favorite. My still my favorite portrayal of Dracula is going to be Bela Lugosi. Yeah, yeah. you kind of can't fuck with Bella. I mean, in the universe, Universal Classic Monsters, you gotta give props to Bela Lugosi. Even Boris Karloff for all the are all the roles he did. <laughs> yeah, I just saw one of his uh, movies he did later, in, like later in his life, uh, Frankenstein, nineteen seventy. It was actually surprisingly good. Yeah, he was also the Mummy too, in the Universal Classic series. And yeah. Bela Lugosi thought he was gay. <laughs> Boris Karloff is a mummy? I don't remember that one. Oh, yeah, never, yeah. never mind. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. The mummy, yeah. that, the original mummy was very good. I enjoyed the hell out of that. Of course, Frankenstein can't touch that. <laughs> nope. But 100% opposite of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Yes. Now, the Hammer Studio Frankenstein ones are actually where going. Peter Cushing, I actually... I enjoy quite a bit of those. <clears throat> yeah, okay. I can't even think who my favorite portrayal of Dracula would be outside of Gary Oldman. But then again, the Gary Oldman can play anything and not get an Oscar for it because they don't oh, have but... Oscars to assholes. Yeah. I think we can probably say the worst portrayal on the role of uh, Dracula was John Carradine. Yeah... Yeah, think about, this, think about it this way. Even late even late late into his life, John Carradine refused to talk about Billy the Kid versus Dracula. For good reason. Mm. <laughs> Considering the movie was shot in a week and it was so so bad. <laughs> I mean there's the one scene where you can clearly see the guy that was working the the uh the quote unquote the van, the Dracula bat, you can clearly see the operator through the stagecoach window. They didn't try to hide it. Well, I mean that's like black dynamite with the boom mic hitting his afro. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Oh black dynamite was a thing of beauty. Yes. <laughs> I now, won't tolerate anybody selling drugs to this community, but Black Dynamite, I sell drugs to the community. <laughs> I think we can all agree that probably the best comedic Dracula had to be Leslie Nielsen and Dracula dead and loving it. I will admit I've never actually watched that. Really? I, hmm. I'm such a vampire purist that it's it does take a bit for me to stop and kind of step back that it's satire so I just haven't watched it all the way through yet. All I can say is Peter McNichol does a very good Renfield. I mean, he, I mean, he, no, he's no Dwight Fry, who's actually a very brilliant actor, but he still did the role brilliantly. He, he, he managed to pull off that Renfield laugh. Renfield will always be Tom Watts to me, or waits to me. Like, that, that was just perfect. <laughs> In, in Bram Stoker's Dracula, Tom Waits was Renfield, and yeah, it was <clears throat> freaking perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to go for a smoke, so I'll be right back. Okay, dear. Which I believe, if my, my trivia knowledge is correct, Tom Waits was also the inspiration for Heath Ledger's Joker. <laughs> really? Yep, he saw an interview of Tom Waits on Letterman, and Waits was f***ing out of his head. <laughs> when is he and, not out of his head? Yeah, and just that, you know, distant, distracted, you know, 
kind of out of his mind dialogue that he had on Letterman. Leather- Ledger was just like, this is it. <laughs> I can honestly say, you know, out of all these remakes of The Mummy and Frankenstein and Dracula, I am glad nobody touched Creature from the Black Lagoon. No, oh, give them time. I-, I hope not, because uh, I'm sorry, I-, I am just such a purist to that movie that Unless it's like 100% accurate to the original, I I would just hate it. Because I have actually met Riku Browning and, and I have his autograph. Nice. And yeah, he is the last living Universal monster. Yeah, everybody else has kicked the bucket. Yeah. But no, I hate I am kind of the vampire encyclopedia of my friends group. <laughs> I'm kind so, of the um, like the B sci-fi expert of the group. Yeah. Oh, there there were so there's so many good horror <laughs> films. Um, I can name a few off the top of my head that I think still stand up. Um. Okay. First, first and foremost, first and foremost, Motel Hell. Mm-hmm. I'm back. Welcome back. Are we still talking about movies? Yes. And, and yes, 100% agree. Best Joker is Mark Hamill. Hands down, bar none. Oh. For, for what he did for the time. Absolutely best Joker and consistent. Okay. Okay. He, I liked his version of Joker for the animated series. Love it. Yes. Love it. But to me, I grew up in that age where Jack Nicholson was like the best Joker. Oh, the Jack <laughs> Napier angle? Fuck that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I loved it. You see, I, I don't like the, that they actually named him. Now, yep. had, had they just said that, and think that he's known to go by Jack Napier, okay, I can live with that. Yeah. yeah. Don't call, don't actually give him a name. Or follow the Red Hood arc. Now, Caesar Romero. Because, Caesar Romero was like the best, I guess you say, clown. He is, he is absolutely up there for best jokers. Absolutely. Jack Nicholson was the best mobster, gangster type. No, he, he, Jack Nicholson was your just psychopath. I mean, he killed oh, people was, and just was, la- uh, he's laughing at the way he killed that dude, the Joy Buzzer is laughing while doing it. The guy is like a sociopath. Yeah, Heath Ledger's Joker tops Nicholson in that regard. Yeah. No, I, I he, just this was so... a pure anarchist. Yeah, he was a PR anarchist. I just, I am so done with, oh, what the fuck's his name? The director. Tim, no, Burton. No, the, Tim Burton, yeah. I'm so tired of him. Like, he gets way more credit for Nightmare Before Christmas than he deserves. He, I, I'm tired of Helen Bonham Carter. She can f- right off for all I care because she is in goddamn everything he did. Thankfully, well, they're, they're divorced married. now, so. They were married at the time. <laughs> yeah, so luckily they're divorced now, so that's over. Because, man, you want to talk about overrated, Helen Bonham Carter is so overrated. <laughs> There was one thing that she was in that I actually did enjoy, and Tim Burton had nothing to do with it. There was a miniseries back in the late 90s, early 2000s, with Sam Neill, Merlin. Mm-hmm. She played Jurassic Morgan, Park. <laughs> she played Morgan Le Fay, which I liked. Oh yeah, Mr. Babylon. Yep, yep, yep. I watched that. Well, as nobody as well uh, as long as nobody brings up that abortion of a Joker from the Suicide Squad, I'm happy. Yeah, no, that we we do not acknowledge Leto in this house. Yeah, we we I first time I saw that I'm like, what the fuck is that? That is not the Joker. I'm yeah. not gonna kill you. I'm just gonna hurt you a little bit. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh no, if we're going for a sociopathic Joker, we gotta give John DiMaggio, aka Bender, a lot more credit for yes. uh, 
Under the Red Hood, that Joker yes. was unbelievably good. Tell me what hurts more, forehand or backhand? Option A or option B. And, and the fact that the animators the actually had Robin's toes curl in pain. That yes, was they did. Detail. Isn't there a version of uh, the Red Hood that actually is a good guy? I yeah, that, that that is kind of the joke with the Red Hood, is he was trying to be a superhero. And then the mob interfered, and that's when he fell in the vat. And the whole thing made him mad. Yeah, and like he, he always considered himself a flashy Mater D. Less so, motorcycle so, fetish, there's, more there's new, flashy Mater D. There's a new, I guess, Arkham City game coming out, and it got the Red Hood in there, and I'm like, wait a minute, I thought he was a bad guy. <laughs> Red Hood's kind of a mercenary. And oh, at least that at least the Tim Drake version, he he just kinda did what he wanted. Kind of more of an anti hero. Like he wasn't a good guy, he wanted so desperately to be a good guy. And, and then just shit went south for him. And we're back. <laughs> Welcome back, Mikey. <laughs> Thank Nerd you. Raid. Yep. <laughs> Welcome back, M Dog. Thank you. Yeah, uh, sorry, we got carried away with the whole Joker and Dracula and you know. Talking That's Joker okay. trivia is how I married my ex-husband. <laughs> Speaking of movie awesome. trivia, I don't know how well versed you are in the old B sci-fi movies. Fair uh, amount. The you, the um, astronaut uniform they used in the really early B sci-fi movie, The Queen of Outer Space, they reused them in Forbidden Planet. And same thing oh. with the, same thing with the sidearms. Well, yeah, when you find one good prop studio, everybody, word of mouth will get around. Everybody will go to that yeah. first. And like I was saying, like, like I've told people, they made those movies on a budget. They didn't have a lot of extra money to be making new uniforms, so they just used, reused everything they had. Think, like, just like they do at Firefly, the, uh, those, um, the military uniforms, were the, what they used the same thing in, um, um, fuck, what is that? Um, killer bugs. Um, Marshall Marshall Troopers. Troopers. Uh, they used them again in Power Rangers. If you yeah, watch, I've got uh, a... yeah. If you ever sit and watch the first episode of uh, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, it's Starship Troopers uniform. <laughs> and the oh. um, uh, the the bad guys in uh, Firefly. The how are they the the mad ones? No, 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 no. Um, the ones I fought the brown coats. So, oh, the fuck! I remember I'm getting them brain fart tonight. <laughs> when do Don't you, worry. When do I've you got not? COVID brain, so mine's worse. <laughs> yeah, no comment. Not touching that one. No, no. If you know what's good for you, no. Exactly. I I value my health and safety. I know where you work. Yeah. Oh, this one again. What the hell? <laughs> Time to delete the queue before you do. Uh, one left. Right. I, I guess I'll go mid. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Probably still get there before you guys. Mine's gone. Yeah, mine was mine's long gone. <laughs> I walked to go from like ten percent back up to a hundred, and it was like, nope, I can't do it. Bye. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Done here. Oh, looks like M Dog brought his his bad boy or bad girl. Oh, no. Yeah, this is my Romulan. Either way, it will call somebody daddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, th this ship and build on this tune has my ISA record. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, God, I did make a bad joke at work today of the, oh, it's Father's Day. You want to make someone uncomfortable, lean in and go, happy daddy's day. 
Oh, that, oh, oh, cringe. Yep. Oh, intentional cringe. I worked yeah. on that. And oh. just to see my coworker literally start to squirm, <laughs> it was kind of glorious. It's like mission accomplished. Oh. I only oh. wish I could have done it over the PA system. <laughs> no, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. No, I've already got in trouble for saying head receiver to the rear for receiving. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I was there when you did that. Yeah, they, <clears throat> they very promptly asked me to stop. Yeah. And it's like, well, that's his position. Head receiver. Yeah, no one should trust me with a loudspeaker in a store. <laughs> no. And no, my luck, I'd have to be the one in there defending you. And I would not oh, be no, able. I would, re I would request it. <laughs> and I would not be able to do it in a straight face. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the best snack ever. Well, we used to at my old store when we were night crew. We used to always on the PA. Yeah, does anyone have any uh, cock soup? Yep, it, it's flavored. it's an actual thing. Some of yep. our stores actually sell it. When you get those nice, nice ethnic brands that don't yep. translate to English very good, yet cock flavored ramen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and and then and then during check on spotted dick. Price yep. Check on spotted dick. Yep, that was the yep. other one at the holidays. We'd get that too. Yep. Where you you can see who's immature by walking past it and seeing the people go. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> and wow. and I, I feel bad for the sales rep who deal who brings that in for us because she's like a sixty year old woman and she's like a really nice person. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, oh, well, that's the best part about innocent old ladies is yeah when you, you destroy them with like really petty, stupid. <laughs> immature things yeah well she she deals with all the grocery stores so she knows <laughs> yep well for me it was my mom and my grandma went to new york and saw a, a flyer for jim rose's twisted circus oh god and yeah my grandma points the sign it's like look the circus oh no <laughs> oh no uh. <laughs> and mom's like no 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 no. Find out things about your your mom that you didn't know about. <laughs> oh, oh no! I am the carbon copy of my mother, so I <laughs> I just have less shame. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. My mom is reserved me, whereas I have no shame and I do not give a fuck. <laughs> yep. This poor I fax over there is probably wondering what to do. <laughs> well. Yeah, and he's in the. They're in the Jurok, so yeah, that's <laughs> not a good phase for them. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Like, don't get I'm me, good. don't get me wrong. The Jurok is actually an amazing ship, especially with it being free. But he probably just, he probably just watches everything explode in like one minute and just like, oh, what do I do? <laughs> but unfortunately, that ship cannot turn to save its life. <laughs> Hence, why I put a lazy boat on it. I unfortunately missed the Jurok. Oh. So I don't have access to the best pets in the game, apparently. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. But it's okay. I do enough DPS without them. Well, they're very, like, for specific builds, anyways. Now, the, the the thing that hurts you the most is the console, because the console actually is pretty good. I wonder if I'm pissing this guy off, because I'm, like, zipping around in circles, like, me, 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 me. Hi! Oh, no. No, did we get a bug map? Did we piss All I know off? is all those... Wait a minute, let's give it a few, let's give it a minute to try to catch up. <laughs> did we piss it off? 
<laughs> All I know is swerving through those pylons, you failed your sobriety test. Um, I'm like the best pilot in the game. What are you talking about? There it goes. Too powerful for the map. Yeah. Trying to make this big old science ship even more angry. No targets <clears throat> for you. Actually, I, I th there's another ship I want to. I might fly tonight. Which one? <coughs> the Viridian. What's that? Man, my turrets just wrecked those guys. Uh, the Orion ship from Discovery, the ammo chain ship. Oh. That's another thing that's hard to fly. I remember for the longest time I wanted, uh, what was it, that the, uh, that, what was the best cannon miracle worker ship in the world, uh, in the game? Uh, the... The Kagarin? No, not that one. It was a Juggernaut. Oh, the, uh, the Juggy. The Rodwar, yeah. Yeah, Rodwar. Yeah, that thing, yeah, I got that too. Because that, that, that was, the only reason I got it is because I grabbed that mud bundle that was, that had it in it. You're welcome. Yeah, and the, the two I fly are both named JB's Fault and Blame JB. Last, like I said, the last ship that was ever given to me was a cross here. Nice. Everything else I've had to get on my own. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I, I took the one of the highest DPS ships in the game, probably the best cannon ship in the game, and I made it into a tank. A lazy tank. And it actually worked. That's one thing I have not built yet with a tank. I've, well, I've gotten all kinds of DPS, torpedo, cannon, beam overload, science. I have not built a tank yet. Well, if you ever want want to know how, you got two of the better tanks in the game right here in this room with you. I do. I know some people say that the the Terran Dreadnought Galaxy X is a good tanking platform. Yes, so it is very good. So, at least I know I have a ship. I don't have to worry about getting the sticks anytime soon. The, the best tanks are going to be anything that has a commander command, so you can run Suppression Barrage 3. But it's not a necessity. As, as long as you have the Tier 6 Narendra, the Tier 6 Ambassador, for history we'll remember, the rest you can substitute and f figure out with other stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, Transport. Am I in the way? <laughs> yeah, because... Right now, currently, JB, myself, uh, one of our Lord. students, Lord Ice, we're all in the process of building uh, more budget-friendly tanks. Uh, I need to get uh, the Narendra. I wanted the Narendra. I remember when you got the, the, I guess, the T4 version of that ship from the mission. And I was like, yes, I like this. Why can't I make the Galaxy... Uh, Galaxy T6 looks like it. <laughs> Where the hell's the dreadnought? Dead. It's dead a dead, dead knot. No, it's. It's not out yet. No, it's oh, it's so... out. No, it's here at Gamma. Oh, it's way the hell over there. Usually it pops in at the spawn point. Yeah, that's why I was confused. Oh well, it's do that. it's not dead. It's assimilated. <laughs> nice. You better be glad that doesn't break the mission. I wonder how. I wonder how long it took him to figure that one out. Like if it happened, like ah, oh, we can't finish the mission. Why he assimilated the ship? Oh. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, it's 
it don't, it only stays assimilated for 30 seconds and it either kamikazes or uh, just despawns. But it does follow me, so it's kind of This guy is just weird. sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, I'm not even going to try. Well, in, in that type of ship, it it's that's what you got to do. Best to park and hit whatever comes near you. Yeah. Yeah, like that. That's what I'll do in my science builds. I'll just find that sweet spot where I can grab well both sides. Oh, I love my science build. I'm running mm -hmm. a burn. Yeah, I have. I have the ver. Like I have mo pretty much most of the good science ships. I got the Vern. Which I'm st still in the process of fixing that build. I have. I'm doing a pure science, like. Uh, yeah. I don't have any tactical whatsoever engineering. Same. It's just all. Yeah. Well, I have the one engineering power to aux. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I have that. For the doff. Yeah. But it's yeah, mine's almost identical to Augie's. You know, the your standard meta all science build on it, but I'm still messing around with some of the traits and consoles. Then I have... The bad thing is, is that I spent so much time on it. That's actually my old... That was my very first um, Federation character I ever made in this game, ever, back when I was mm -hmm. a subscriber. So uh, that and my one Klingon are my oldest characters. Oh, okay. And that now when I see everybody as a tactical <laughs> captain doing science and then I, I mm -hmm. finally see how it works, I'm like... Well, I'm too far gone on my science captain well, to be doing this. See, that, so that's the thing. It's I've I put all my science builds on my science tune. Yeah, yeah I, I have, I'm going to do one science build on my engineer. That's going to be really interesting. Yes, I'm looking forward to that. Well, but, I mean, I can see how that would work because engineers are all about power levels. I mean, you mm -hmm. boosting your power levels. And yeah, I'm doing that um, EPG torque boat on the uh, Cheval. My engineer. Oh, you got the the lower deck ship. It was gifted to me. Yeah. Yeah, pretty. Uh, an early birthday present from uh, a good friend of ours. The same friend that gave me the CrossFit. It is the CrossFit, anyways. The ship itself is okay, but it's you want it for the trait. Yeah, and then it's yeah. I got the Vern set up as the all science. Then I have the tier six Ober set up as my super controller. That thing is ridiculous. By the time I can get, I can get that up to about eight fifty control. And I know with some tweaking, I can probably get it up to a thousand. Wait, excuse me. Yeah. <clears throat> and then I have, I have the Drock set up as a lazy science boat. So it's a uh, Half, half control, half EPG. Are you pulling ships out of warp? Pretty much. <laughs> and then, Jesus. but my, my primary control that I use more than anything, it's uh, I have on the um, the Equinox, the Tier Six Nova. Are you talking about all those uh, escorts that just kind of show up out of nowhere? Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are my call emergency artillery. And the funny thing about them is, if you kill the target before. Before they can get to it, they'll make a 180 and just hit whatever. Yeah. Dead space, an ally, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been using my Equinox a lot lately for control and for vid runs because I have it set up as a Dusai. So that way no mines to entity cap, which has become a major issue in ISE lately. Well, not, not being able to have enough people uh well, I guess pets well in the, in the map. yeah well okay because torps are the meta now and you know a lot of people are running mines for the high dps and during the briefing stage everyone you know they're spitting up mines you know from mine disposal patterns and if more than one person's doing that you hit the entity cap and the cubes and gateway decide to disappear so that's that's, first. I've never gotten a very rare uh, nice TFO completion reward. Huh. So that, that's the main reason why I set up the 
the Equinox as a control on doing a do Psy. Because then that way I don't have to worry about contributing to the entity cap. I'll be right back, Mikey. I go to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I've wanted somebody to sit down with me on my science build to see what I can do to make it better. So I might have to do that with you guys sometime. Yep, you're more than welcome to. We'll be happy to help. <clears throat> don't make me. Don't tempt me. I'll swap over now. <laughs> <laughs> don't tempt me. It's a fun build, though. I, I call it my hot rod in space. Uh-oh. Oh, let's did see. Which one do I want to... Did we disband? No, I'm switching tunes. Hmm. All right, well, I'm hopping around tonight. <laughs> you're switching. No, I'm going to have fun. Like, yeah, exactly. I'm going to have fun. Let me... Uh... Okay, okay, okay. Swapping over to my science. Uh, let's see. What do I want to fly? Come here, Kyra. Actually, I'm going to fly this. <clears throat> Another one of my Terran Empire characters. Yeah, mo a lot of mine were Terran. I've slow I'm slowly changing them away from being Terran. Just for the I time just, being. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't have a whole lot of... Well, I do have a lot of the older outfits that some people can't even get anymore. Ah. I remember when I got the Wrath of Khan, I got it from a code back when we were, uh, you were pay to play. Yeah. Yeah, that was one of the original uh, uh, you know, original things, go. yeah. Before we had the, uh, the Zen store. Yeah, there was that, and also Khan's actual outfit. That you got <laughs> that you got when you signed up for the original Arc Launcher. Oh God. Yeah. Did you get the plastic chest and everything? Uh, hang on a second. I'll show you. Up. <laughs> you can tell me. Oh, is that the um lower deck ship? Yeah. I did not. I never could wrap my head around the design of that. I'm like, what the hell is that? <laughs> when I first saw, I tried to watch Lower Deck for a couple minutes on uh, Paramount Plus. I was like, nope, can't do it. <laughs> you, you tell me, Vex. <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to come through. She's a Barbie girl. Barbie girl. Yeah, close to it. Um, a little top heavy, ain't you? <laughs> Just a wee bit. <laughs> Is the character me? Uh, <laughs> uh, it's not you. I, I made the. I made this uh -huh. before I even met you. Uh huh. I never understood, but do you notice how? Look at look at the outfit. It almost looks like he's borgified. Well, her, her story, she has a full backstory. She has a, a, a big, a full backstory. And part of it was she technically died during the Iconian War and her first officer, who was a liberated, liberated Borg, had to assimilate her to keep her alive. And so that's why she has some Borg implants left over. Is that against the rules? Still does not change. Glasses, European nose, big tits, plunging ne neckline. Hmm. Um, I, I'm not going to comment on that. I can't. I'll get in trouble. Okay. That's before I met you. This is when this tune was made. Uh-huh. Somebody's going to have a lot more work to do at work. <laughs> He's lucky that my department does not interlap with his a lot. <laughs> well, yeah, two, yeah. One, Vex works in a different department, but also two, I do outrank her. Oh, yes, because seniority has stopped me. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, not, oh, not, oh, well, not just seniority, but position, but whatever. No, I made this tune back, in, back at the original Delta recruits. So that's 2018. 
I half expected her to say your position, huh? You're like, no, 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 no. No, when we learned on the the union getaway that I definitely outposition you. Shut up. We're not, talk- we're not talking about that. Uh-huh. The union getaway. Really, a getaway, huh? Hmm. There, this. There, how, how about this one? This one doesn't look anything like you. Uh, he, he, he's like, uh, what the? <laughs> Terrence Schoolgirl? Okay, I got yeah. see What the <laughs> hell? Oh my god. <laughs> you, you can, this one you can thank. Our friend Grumpy Old Nord, because he has the whole schoolgirl army thing, so I made this for him. <laughs> How is Grumpy doing? Is he not streaming tonight? He's only streaming once in a blue moon now, unfortunately. Do, do I have to remind you that I did have a uh, androgynous schoolgirl schoolboy phase? Oh boy. Giggity? Oh boy. Um, I'm going to mute myself now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in my bunk. <laughs> what are you doing in there? None of your business. <laughs> Whatever no. you hear, do not open the door. Nice, Dwayne. <laughs> yeah, the discovery's good too. Yeah. <laughs> I have two uniforms for my for my discovery. Oh yeah, and that outfit's just my club clothes. It's um. This is my discovery, Taryn, science. Uh, okay. Unfortunately, one of the outfits that you get... Th- this is her club weird. clothes. Can I stream to Discord? <clears throat> Am I able to do that here? Yeah. All right. I'm going to stream real quick to Discord. And I want you guys to look at this. I'm going to change outfits. Let me change outfit. Oh, that's my uh, that uh, that's that or you can cut co- that or you can come to DS9, and we can see it in person, and then the stream can see it. Um. Okay. Uh. Do I have a mission to Deep Space Nine that I can transport to? Uh, for the first one in the Gamma Arc, or one of the ones in New Frontiers. Storm clouds gather. Go to yep. Deep Space. Nine. Yep. Got it. Uh, yeah, I had to is... teach that to somebody. They were like, well, how do I get to these? <laughs> well, you know, accept that mission, but don't Ex- complete it. Yep. Yeah, so this is the, this is her club you know, club outfit. Uh, Change the boots to ox blood. Change the t-shirt to a t-shirt that says suck my entire cock. Um, and yeah, I do have that outfit. Oh, uh, this woman. Dive, dive, dive. I'm very yeah, popular. Um, about the Myconians. Um, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, Mike, you go out in the next couple of runs without me. My dog needs to go out. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm coming to Deep Space Nine. I'm still tweaking this one. I'm not happy with the hair. All right. And And when I started working at the store, what color was my hair? I... Yeah, it was purple, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yep. What is it now? My natural color, unfortunately. Oh, okay, but you course. you you don't have this, <laughs> so this one you can't say is you. All right, where are you? Where we're, are you? We're right at the transporter DS nine. No, my crop top leather jacket I gave to oh. Annalisa because the there pockets are. literally were at my under boob. Nah. All right, okay, so that's a discovery. One. Yeah, this is my discovery one. I like this one. This is nice. All right, that is a nice. Out. That is a nice jacket, though. I love the discovery jacket. I just changed the color. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then this is my my kind of like my take on Marshall Janeway kind of deal. Yep. All right, let's see. Does the other one change up the two? No. Like how your character is motorboat in height. <laughs> who, who, me? No, Mikey's. Okay, now, how can I change my stance? Uh, and only in the tail. Well, where's the tail? Behind us. Around the corner. 
Well, this is her dress uniform, and it's fucked up. That blue's supposed to be darker than that. Where is it? I, I never could it's figure out. The behind the, it's that way behind the stairs. That way behind the stairs. Uh, there it is. There's Garrix. And that's that's this is like her mission uniform. No, that's not Garrix. Oh, there it is. All right. Talk to yes. okay. And I'm sure you'd say you have uh, something similar. <laughs> modify. Okay. And actually, for that one, I have to go in the tailor because I can't show it on this map. Which one does it? Uh, yeah, that one. Okay, here we go. Hang on a sec. Mm. Okay, I thought it was, I think, th I forgot that Thoughtful was the one that put your hand behind your back. Okay. Right. Okay, what do you have to say about this one? About the bikini option? Or? Yeah. <laughs> well, where'd you go again? I lost you. Now, this one I know you don't, you can't say is you. Are you... I'm in the yeah. tailor. I'm in the tailor. Oh. No, because I wanted to show this uh, my some my rise outfit, which you, you can't show on these maps. Okay. Now watch my arms. Do they do something weird to you? Mm, Wait weird. for it. Yeah, it's, you're elbow, you're double jointed. Why does it do that? <clears throat> and yeah, you're you have some clipping. It's it's an issue with the uh, female, with the female um, character. <clears throat> that is weird. I, I tried to max my arm bulk. And well, everything. they they made a whole whack of adjustments not that long ago to to our characters, like a whole like they added more hairstyles, more colors. Plus a whole whack of like the uniforms, and they tweaked a few things. But unfortunately, some of the side effects to the female character models is there's a lot of clipping issues that they're slowly fixing. My arms look like they're twisted. And right above the elbows. yeah, there's a few issues. Yeah, with arms and legs, there's a few of them. But yeah, that's one of my favorite Terran uniforms. Let's see, does it fix it when I go feminine? Yes, it does. Okay. Yeah, see, my, mine kind of do it too. It's hard to, it's a little... It's harder to see because it's all black. Yeah, it's harder to see because it's, yeah, I don't have bare arms, but it's like you can even, like, yeah, the elbows don't really work that way. Which, I don't understand why they do that. And you can, and you can see, like, perfect example, like, the skirt has clipping issues still. Is that the spots. um the um the cadet skirt? I believe so. Yeah, it is. Cuz it's the only one that's plain that has a stripe. Cuz I want that for like the dress. Cuz this is yeah, this is like her dress uniform or formal uniform. Oh, damn, I need to repair... I need, where, where's the medical office? <clears throat> where is Bashir's place? Okay. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I know it's on the <sighs> lower uh, Omega Force. Do you okay. remember when you had to come here to get your... Get yep. Back in the day? Oh, yeah. It was only oh, anti the, plasma. The infirmary's over here. By Quarks. By Quarks? Yep. So as soon as you heal up, we'll do another one. <laughs> Bank and exchange. Yep, yeah, keep coming. This place used to be a lot more confusing back in the day. Yep. Yep, that's it. <laughs> what, in there? No, behind me. <coughs> <Huh>. <laughs> well, yeah, you, you remember how big... 
the old uh, map used to be. Oh, yeah. I, I, I still miss the old space dock. Yep. Or ESD. I like that one. Hey. Yeah, go. Hey, Greg Bot. How are you doing, man? Good to see ya. You had to go in there every time you got promoted and you had like this whole ceremony. I, I like that. Let me get you a shout out because I know you are you do stream occasionally. I don't know how. What else I would stream? Like the um, laser Naginata. Okay, let's see what we get. What? Your your laser Naginata. <laughs> oh yeah. That my, you my, Yeah, that's can that is one of the best ground weapons. This is my um my Jaffa staff. Yep. Well, in Earth terms, in Japan, it's a Naginata. <laughs> that shoots lasers not, from his head. Yeah, the so songs the lasers. Not, <laughs> not a problem, Greg Bog. It's hey, we're all we're all streamers, we're all friends, we all gotta stick together, man. Yep. How you doing tonight? Plus, it also just gives me an excuse to make sure my sound commands and all that are working. <laughs> because God knows how many times I have fucked up my overlays. What's that combat? Or is that a sash that you have on? It's a sash. This is the Emerald Chain uniform. In all honesty, I wish I could get it without the sash. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a uh, Return of the Jedi loop vibe. Well, th this... My headcanon for this is this is her undercover slash civilian. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, Outfit. Wait, okay. Okay, never mind. This yeah. is not so bad. Well, they, they have... So it's not as bad as it used to be. Because... Uh, did we have to do this in... The, it, it's a lot shorter. No, it's a lot shorter than it used to be. And throwing back for a moment, you said you made that character in 2018? Yeah. You wanted to guess what year I started at our job? Yeah, but I didn't get in, I didn't get to your store to our store until 19. I know, I'm I'm giving you shit. I know you are. <laughs> yeah, Greg Bog, I I'll be honest, I wasn't planning on streaming tonight. I was originally planning on streaming this afternoon and I was going to stream uh, Final Fantasy. Uh, Final Fantasy 7 remake, but then Augie said he wasn't going to stream, so I said, oh, "Okay, I'll stream instead." So well, it's kind. I finally got off work, so I was around. Yeah, so it's this is kind of an impromptu, kinda. Oop. Don't mind me, just punching things <laughs> accidentally. Uh huh. Hey, it's not my axe, so we're good. Well, and Greg Bog, if you do decide to stream, you've given me a raid target. <laughs> Ooh, the vault. That, that's actually fun now. I was gonna say you had impeccable timing to go uh, take your take the puppy out. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. If Mikey, if I were you, I, I would stop digging while you were ahead. Huh? What do you mean? Wood vex. <laughs> That's the thing. I'm never ahead. Nope. nope. Well, stop stop digging. That's all I can say. <laughs> Put down, put down the shovel, you dug a hole deep enough. Yeah, it's... Uh, the Nova is a very tiny ship, but it can pack a punch. The only thing I don't like about this mission is that it's not very... well, tightly packed enemies. Yeah. It's too much travel time. 
that and even when I get to these little groups their little barrier walls are allowing them to uh, resist my grab welds yeah 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 what what are these guys want to get my hands on that California class <clears throat> I hope so only a weaver oh, I really want to do a build on it I, I think it's a really cool ship it's it's definitely met my expectations and kind of exceeded them a little bit like it's not gonna break any records but it's useful Actually, this is a map I should have been in my uh, Nova because of the pilot maneuvers. <laughs> Derp. Yeah. Well, it's the thing you don't know what you're going to get when you hit the random button. This is true. Like, it's not a slow ship, but it's not a fast ship. And I guess I'm not using the con hologram. Derp. Neither am I. I don't have the room for it. That's the bad thing about the ship. I mean, yeah, I the, 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 pil like, oh. the, the pilot maneuvers are useful. That I will agree with. The rest of the pilot spec, however, nope. Oh, there's, there's a pilot team. That's kind of helpful. It's only good to... Yeah, it has its uses. It's really only good for proc and cold-hearted. Yes. Yep, Greg Bog. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, were you guys hanging on a DS9? Yeah, we, yeah. Yeah, we moved to DS9. Okay. We're doing a little ground prawn, as, and I'm sure you probably heard it. Vex thinks all, all of Hannah's outfits are her. Essentially, when I first started at our job, yeah. I can see that. But it's coincidence, because a lot of these were made before I even met Vex. And I still say, uh-huh. <laughs> I showed you the date when this tune was made. I know. But if I don't rib you, what's the point? <sighs> You're not wrong. And no, <laughs> the, the similarity is slightly uncanny. <laughs> <laughs> It goes to prove that she's been imprinting her her thoughts into your brain all this time. Oh, the wait, only babe. thing I can see the difference between me and Hannah is I definitely have more hip. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have those Scottish, you know, pulling the plow and birthing them babies hips. And then the German Stein cozies. <laughs> <laughs> you can balance a what on your bosom? Stein. No, that was the, the stupid thing on the internet when they were doing... All the Asian girls were like, you have perky boobs if you could put a pencil under your boob. So I decided to step aside Asian girls. Full can of Pepsi. Giggity? Yeah, that that puppy did not move, and that and it wasn't a baby size either. It was one of the regular full standard cans. Definite giggity. <laughs> if, if I go if I go digging through my phone history long enough, I'm pretty sure I can find the picture. Dun, dun, dun. <coughs> 
<sighs> are we here to talk about Star Trek, or are we here to talk about, you know... Talk about right? anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, eh. Talk I about... Say, I've had a lot of fun, though. Good. <laughs> that That's the point. Like, even yeah, we'll... My... We'll Even talk. My face feels like it's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk That's about. Yeah, we'll talk about Star Trek, Star Trek Online, pretty much whatever we want. It doesn't matter. I, got into, I know on my stream we got into a very spirited talk about Doctor Who. Yep. Star Trek, Star Wars, Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Wait, Star Wars. Wait, what? What movie is this? No. <laughs> I, believe, I believe that was a adult's parody of Star Wars. Of yep. Star, Star Wars, that's what Chorog is specialized in. He wishes. He, he uh, Yeah, he, he specializes in running them. What is Augie? Because Augie has the pimp coat. Maybe. Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah, he's usually around by now. Hope he's feeling, uh, hope he's feeling better. Yeah, I think he's just taking a night, taking a night off. He, he's really tired from staying up too late. Yeah, he was, he was vinegary last night, eh? <laughs> oh, he was very, he was on point last night. Yep. Uh oh, look, looks like Boimler shunted the waste extraction units into the warp missiles again. <laughs> But that's also one of the reasons why we love Augie. Yep, Augie's great. He might be a little rough around the edges, but deep down inside, he's a really, really nice and caring person. Oh, yeah. I just love when he goes on his rant, so... Oh, yeah, we all do. Yeah, I went on, I went on a micro rant last night. Yep. There's only one other streamer that I watch, and I will not name his name on your stream. Because, you know, I don't want... As... As long as he's not the name that shall not be named, who no longer is no. a member. No, no, no. He doesn't play Star Trek Online. He he plays Bioware games. That's it. Okay, you can say it. Uh, his name is Ninja Flips. Okay. I heard he Bioware. Played, I'm back. Hello. <laughs> uh, he played right now. He you know he's playing um, uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. He plays all those games. Nightmare. Oh, okay. You know, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fire. He does a lot of cool stuff. And there are times where I've, I've seen him just go off. Oh, yeah. Like, just because things aren't working the way they're supposed to be. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> You've been playing this game for how many years and you don't know that shit just doesn't work? Yep, I've... There's several streamers who I'll watch who get like that, too. And it's more entertaining than the rest of their, their content, in all honesty. Well, yeah, when someone's losing their shit, there is a whole different element of humor to it. Whoop, drop my iPad. Oh, how dare you drop us. Hey, uh, I've got you verbally in one hand and visually on the other. Okay. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah, the one who shall not be named, he just... Pisses and cries and shits his pants. Oh no, I'm not not talking about that. Well, okay, that's he shall not be named number two. I'm talking about the one who is no longer a part of the community. Oh, I know uh, who you're talking about. That asshole. Yes, that asshole who is yeah. Who shall be referred to as and only as that asshole. Okay. Exactly. While while we're sitting here and we're waiting to get somebody. This, I'm gonna go ahead and stream this to Discord because I can't show it to your stream. But um, okay. Here we go. All right. This is my build so far on my science. Hang on, let me pull Discord up. I don't know if you can oh, share. Let's take a look at it. I don't know if you can share it from your end. Yeah, hang on. I just got a. Just gotta do that. <laughs> Add, uh, add it to your stream labs or whatever? No, I just switch inputs from game to display. Let's see, okay. Particle emission, chronoton, dark matter, good. Three-piece revolutionary set, good. Um, 
Vex is going to like the name of that ship. Oh, yes. Mass Effect. Yep. I am a Bioware fan as well. I remember my first Bioware game ever. Knights of the Old Republic. Yes. Uh, mine was the Mass Effect trilogy, which I beat in under a week. While being a completionist. Um, about first, thing want, first thing I want to say is you could probably get rid of those... Uh, Lab consoles and throw some universal consoles in there so they can get more use of. I don't have anything else. <laughs> About bloody time you show up, Talon. How you doing? <laughs> yeah. See, we see you there, but we don't hear you in audio. That, that's a problem. Yeah. Uh, let's. I don't, I don't okay. have any a whole lot of ships and. Uh, okay. Right what are the okay? Which which version of the consoles are those? The front, the first two. There. Okay, the first two you can keep. But yeah, though, yeah, the restorative ones, yeah. Yeah, what, what, uh, one on the very end there, what science console is that? Yeah, that one's fine. That one you need. I got lucky on that one. I bought that one for seven mil. <laughs> oh, the, lucky you, Taylor. Lucky you. Was that the uh, EPG one you have? The yeah. Like... Yep. Yeah. Okay. And you got... Um,. Well, I can recommend getting, in, if you're uh, in your discovery reputation, go in there uh, in the store under support consoles, get the Bellum particle generator. It adds yeah. EPG and it adds a bit of crit chance, which is nice. I had to giggle. I thought you said Bellum particle ge generator. <laughs> That's engineering. Bottom one, support science. Oh, maybe I did. And, uh, I I and Talon. The like nature of that. And Taylor, why are you saying "damn it, Mikey"? You approved. You approved that music for your entrance. Which one am I replacing that way? Uh, well, the, hey, you know, you know, if the pizza's not there yet, you can still hop and chat. You know. You're gonna put that one instead of the the healing ones. The the those two, the, the third and fourth, because those you don't. I do not have enough dilithium for that. Shit. Let me see something here. Mm. You don't drink. You're a, you're not old enough to drink in your state. I can get one. I just don't have enough dilithium for the rest. Are these upgradable? Yes. Okay. But make sure, yeah. All right, I'm going to buy one for now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I can't get both. Hey, even I don't buy that excuse. Okay, let's see. And then you got Web Spinner, Neutronic, Delphic. Perfect. Okay, you know what? I, I would love to hear Drunk Tay. Me too. Yes, I'd love to be in the same room as Drunk Tay. Wait, what? Yeah, I wouldn't. Keep forgetting Vex is here. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Careful, she'll smack you. I don't know. You know. Vex may want to join in. Who knows? If I'm lucky, all I'll get is a smack. <laughs> Remember, I still have to secede to HR. Hey, I don't need to imagine what you sound like sober. I know what you sound like sober, and I don't believe that that's what you sound like drunk. These almost look like locators. <laughs> These Bellum particles generators. Yeah, they, they give you the EPG, but the bonus is they also give you crit, which is beneficial for science builds. Mm. Um, the only other one I would con definitely consider getting rid of is the, the middle tactical one. I use it because it gives me that. Yeah, but it's it all depends on also... And exotic damage, uh, exotic EPG, for now, for now. Mm-hmm. But there's others, yeah, there is others that would be more useful. Uh, do, but it depends if you have them. You have the um, Fakiri Torment Engine. Yes, yeah, 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 that one. Fakiri Torment? It's a mission, yeah. mission reward. And I would love to hear that, Tay. What mission? It's in the Klingon Civil War arc. Yes, Tay, we 
you know what? We gotta get drunk Talon into the dust court one night. Yes, we do. And to make and to make it even better, we have to do it uh, and do that as another Among Us. <laughs> uh, Dwayne, uh, the Dark Matter Quantum, I wouldn't run that on uh, uh, this type of high end build. What he's using right now is perfectly fine. I see the advanced. Temporal torpedo, which is very good. The it's uh, uh, the PEP torp, also very good. The dark matter quantum torp is also very good. Uh, it's uh, da, 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 da. wasn't it? Uh, oh, oh, that. Yeah, it was the. No, it's in the Klingon. Back. It's in the Klingon Civil War. I thought. Yeah, it's right there. It's a carry uh, twenty-six point two increase non-hazard. What is that? Let me do one. Increased yeah. fire, radiation, <clears throat> plasma, and physical damage. Yeah, it's beneficial because that's going to boost the procs from your particle emission and dark matter torpedo. Yeah, and it'll also buff the radiation damage from your secondary deflector. And also the mines, too. Now, okay, what, what mines are you using? You're using the... Yep, your mines are fine. Yep, throw on a few Tetrion. Yep, perfect. And these are my stations. Okay, yeah, that needs to... Mm-hmm. I do not want to click that button. Oh, yeah, that needs help. Okay, hang on. Let me... Hang on, let me... I'll show you mine. Hang on. These are my traits. Now, keep 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 in mind, I'm still in the process of rebuilding my Vern. It's not quite where I want it. Sadly, I can't... There's Lord Ice. I've been in here for a couple of minutes. I just didn't want to interrupt. Okay, I, I gotta turn yours up because I barely heard that. How's it going, Ice? Uh, I just took control of the Reapers and saved the galaxy. Ah. Um, okay. I don't know if Dwayne can hear me. Uh, Dwayne, I do have it, but because I don't have a torch spread, Quantum Phase isn't gonna do a whole lot. Correct. I mean. Yeah, exactly. I, I didn't see any uh, tactical uh, torpedo firing mode on there. See, okay. See, this this is how I have mine currently set up. Like the the stations are probably going to stay the same, maybe. Like I might try try to squeeze vortex back in, but it's you don't pretty much the only non science ability you want is the power to aux and the doff that goes with it. Yeah. Wait, you don't use Improved Photonic Officer? No. Why? Because I got better traits than that. <laughs> because Boimler? And Boimler? I don't have, I don't have that. Photonic really like Officer is still good, don't get me wrong. Yeah. yeah. But it, and, it, and also, because I'd rather have another Yukon proc. Because that, that's where I'm kind of struggling with this, because I only have three, four, five, six... Uh, oh no, I, I still got eight. I still have eight Yukon procs on this. Well, technically seven, if you don't count the gravity well. Do I have unconventional tactics? You better. Yeah. yeah. I have that. Uh, I mean, hey, who's Michael Burnham? Michael Burnham doesn't exist. I think I think that's probably one of the things that's been bothering me is trying to get this build right. Like yeah, the yeah the Vern all science builds are very very finicky. Like this, here's my setup, and it's like I said, I'm still tweaking it a bit. I mean, if they had nerfed ETM like they did, I mean, oh my god, that was <clears> awesome <throat> back when I was able to use it. Yeah. But now it's kind of like, mm, okay. Yeah. 
yeah, like I'm still moving things around and testing various things, so it's not, it's far from being ready to being called done. Yeah, yeah I think I think you still need to get that, um, what is it, the uh, Delta engine and test it out, see how well it works for you. Well, I'm using the Gamma engine. Yeah. What is this boiler yeah. thing everybody talking about? Personal trait. From the lobby store. Yep. What's so special about it? It's the Boimler. It, it is, it is effectively taken over for Aux to bat. And Photonic Officer. It's the primary cooldown reduction. 17.5% chance whenever you activate any non-specialist bridge officer ability, Psy, Tack, or Eng, to set all of your cooldown buff cooldowns, including specialist buffs, to their minimum. Mm. Is there a lobby store here in Deep Space Nine? You can, There's you a lobby store anywhere you have lobby. Just double click on it. Yeah. Uh, how much is it? Uh, 200. 200. 200, I think. Or it's uh, about 100 million on the exchange. 100 million EC. Well, I have almost 900 lobby. Hit the Where's button. My, where's my bank? It's shopping time. <laughs> where's my bank? Where's my bank? Where's my bank? Nope. Let me change. And then, because I might have to try that, possibly if I can integrate it in my torpedo build. <clears throat> it's on everything. Like JB said, it has taken over the meta for cooldown reduction. Eight hundred and seventy. Well, so much for getting a lobby ship for a while, but that's okay. But also, I Where's would. It would be under space equipment. But in all honesty, I'd hold off another week or two. Only because we probably will get a lobby sale at the beginning of the summer event. Really. We most likely will, yeah. Huh. It's up to you. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just recommending that. Mm. But it, it's, it has, it is now the meta cooldown reduction because now you don't have to have the three, you know, technicians. So that's now three more doff spots opened up. Oh, and Lord. two more buff slots. Two more buff slots. Oh, and, one if you're running half bat. Yeah, and it also even half bat typically ran uh, photonic officer to support it though. Yeah, and now you it's like photonic officer is still a great trait, still useful, but it's now not one that you have to slot because there's so much. There's a lot more traits that are better now. Like one that is definitely becoming meta on almost every build is um, carrier shield hacking. Carrier wave shield hacking, or whatever the fuck it's called. That's the one. Because what that one does, every time you activate your tractor beam, it knocks an enemy shields offline for a few seconds. And especially if you're going to be running, if you have the legendary double D, those two traits synergize so well. I do not have the legendary to there next. Mm. Alright. If I have the money, I'm okay. going to get it as a birthday present to myself. I want rapid emitting arm. Yeah. I remember for the longest time, I wanted the pack, attack pattern theta. Or whatever. It That one is still... It's still useful, but it's mainly meant for very specific builds. Alright, so what ship should I get rid of? Uh, what trait should I get rid of? This? Hang on, let me... Give me a second, let me pull you back up. Nope. I want to keep that. I want to keep that. Uh, let's see, what do you... Uh, the, the, the operative. Really? Operative... I'd say either operative or inno innocuous. Yeah, well, I mean, the only reason why I have innocuous is because I pull a bunch of threat with this dancing. Yeah, but also, but, if you're going to be, 
like when you're testing this out, like in ISEs, for example, if you have a, a good tank, you're fine. And as we discussed earlier, you you are now in the presence of three really good tanks. Uh, also, if you're running a lot of solo stuff with that, and you're drawing a lot of aggro, you may want to check out a trait called Abundance of Caution. So we can get rid of this then. What do I, I haven't heard of that trait. Let me look that one up. Uh, what trait should I replace? Improve the tonic offense. Well, right now I would keep it okay. for the time being. Um, well, let's see. You got what's the first one? Is that electrified? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Checkmate. The exotic. Yeah. Spore. Gravwell. Do you have? Do you have the? Um, do you have Synthetic Good Fortune off of the Tier 6 Nova Equinox? No. Okay, did you... Do you have um, Last Summer's Ship? The um, uh, the Ryzean Tier 6 Cruiser? Events. Reclaim. Yeah. Rise. Nope. Damn. I was not <clears throat> playing then. I was too busy. Uh, not, a... not to get killed by my ex fiance. Lovely. Kind of similar. That's why I missed out on the weather control ship. Yeah, because because the the trade off of the the cruiser is really good. It, well, I shouldn't say really good. It's good. Uh, da, 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 da. no, not that one. No, no, no. Oh, I'm just looking yeah, go the go look on the exchange how much carrier wave shield hacking is. Cause, I'm already there. Give me a minute. Because it's it's a good trade. And while you're doing that, I'm going to go for smoke, so I'll be back in a minute or two. Carrier wave shield hacking is 4.9 million credits. Ha! Hey, you fool. That ain't a lot. If you need a copy, I'll buy you one. Hey, alright, what does this do? I'll return to Intel power to calculate a when your ship uses a tractor beam or intel power on an enemy, it knocks the enemy shields off line. You also get the tractor beam damage. When this track Interesting. Interesting. Alright, fuck it. I'll buy it. You'll be surprised at how good that trade is. I didn't think much of it when I was first given it. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's good. Alright, let's give it a shot. Alright, which one am I replacing, you said? Uh, I do not know. Mikey went AFK. I think it was Electrified Anomalies. Yeah, Electrified Anomalies, you can replace that. Yeah, because uh, apparently it is fallen out of favor with EPG. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah. Okay, look, looks like you replaced Electrified Anomalies. That's good. That exotic modulation there? Yeah, that that. right, that's good. You want that. Uh, spore Infuse. Proved good pretty well. Uh, checkmate. And Improved Photonic Officer. I think you're going to be okay with that. Now I need to set up my span, my bridge. Hey, go, go back to your personal traits for a moment. Uh huh. Okay, I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure I saw enlightened in there. Good. Yeah, it's a very good trait to have. Oh yeah, very much so.
Now I need to uh, work with my bridge officers, right? Now is when you yes, get sir. the power tray set up. Yeah. Well, we need to work at the, we need to work, uh, look at uh, bridge officers first. Yeah. Get that squared away. Sorry, everybody watching M Dog stream. Apologize. Oh no, no, that's no, fine. Right? It's helping someone uh, helping someone out better themselves. Well, if that's the case, I can get rid of. I can know I can get rid of this now. Cause I only cause a reversion because I was procking my restorative park of focuser. I don't have that anymore. Uh, so that can go bye bye. What do I have? Guys, I'm very dumb. Oh. I hit my keybind. I, I hit my keybind to open my uh, rep powers, which is Control R for me. Okay, sorry. Well, did somebody talk to me? Buh. Not that I heard. Okay. I just told people how I was stupid enough to accidentally refresh Discord instead of uh, opening my rep window. Uh. Because I was tabbed into the wrong uh, screen. Okay, for that Lieutenant Commander Science Temporal seat, I would run... Let's see. Oh, Do you trainer here? I don't see one. There isn't one here, is there? A what? Uh, bridge officer trainer. Yes, go up to you know, ops. ops. And we're back. Don't you threaten me. He's only okay. threatening you with a good time. You got that right. Okay. okay. So you're at, at the skill stage? Yeah, we're at bridge officer skill stage. Okay. Alright. Okay. Right, Lieutenant Commander hit me and you stay right there Vex yeah, I, yeah I'm not going anywhere <laughs> I, I saw, for some reason in the back of my mind I saw her have her hand over uh, what <laughs> <laughs> don't forget I have to work with her oh so I can really mess you up no I can do a good enough job but I'm not on my own Okay, for that Lieutenant Commander Temporal Seat, I would definitely use Heisenberg Amplifier, Chronometric Inversion Field, and Timeline Collapse. Alright, um... Okay, I guess I can... Alright, so... And then you said Heisenberg Amplifier? Yes. Heisenberg Amplifier 1? Yeah. Yeah. Because it has one of the lowest cooldowns out there. Okay. Temp off the space. Right. Bye. Ice, are you in game? Affirmative. I'm on Defera doing a uh, Grand Borg endeavor. Okay. Uh, get your tank ready, if you don't mind. I'll do it as soon as I beat yeah, up. Yeah, 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 when you're done. Back in a sec. Oh, are, we, are, are we testing this? Yep. 
Sounds oh, like scare me. scaring me here. Nah. You nah. scared. All right. Now, that done. Obviously, I don't need another copy of Chronometric Inversion Field, so that one's going bye bye. You know, I have a Heidenberg Amplifier too. <laughs> I almost want to get rid of the structural integrity. Clock. You're you're going to. That's going to be your power to aux. But I have that up there. You're going to make that a science station. Okay. Bye bye, Enrique. Yes, Dwayne. We're going to be bringing you as well. Okay, so for the Commander Science, you're going to want to go Tachyon. Tachyon. Yeah, because you need to proc your secondary deflector. Then Tractor Beam, because you have it there. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can keep Photonic Officer for now. And or... Gravel, of course, you keep, yeah. <clears throat> well, for, uh, Photonic Officer, you can put... Uh, well, if, I, get... if, I, if I get rid of Photonic Officer, I might as well get rid of the trait. <laughs> oh, yeah, using the trait. Yeah, never mind. Sorry. Yeah, keep, yeah leave it there. Okay, so... Uh, you'll have... So then go to... So the... The uh, Lieutenant Universal is going to have to be a science. And you'll want Jam... Sensors and scramble sensors. Uh, uh, what is my better? What is my? Um, what trait do you have, now? No, you do not have anything good for me. That's the bad part about do not having enough. Food. Do you have access to any of the hollow buffs? I.e. Bashir or Spock? Um, store. Personnel. No, it'd be under promotions. Promotion. There you I go, yes. Cla claim the uh, original series crew and use Spock. Superior astrophysicist. Exactly. Okay. All right. Uh, where do you go? Okay. Whoa. Oh, or, if yeah. need, or if you need Bashir, I can certainly help with that. I have Bashir. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, Sp Spock okay. is slightly better for these type of builds. Oh, really? Right, I like I, yeah. I was using Bashir because he has the um, Warfare Specialist. Yeah, Spock has superior astrophysicist. Let's start using him. Okay, Spock. Spock, where are you? Alright. He needs... What? You'll need to get um, jam, tar jam sensors and scramble sensors. I get to fill in my spam bars and I look crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, question, do you have destabilizing resonance beam? Yes, he does. He, ar he already has it up. Okay. Oh, promote. Yeah, you have to promote him first. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> Toasty! Commander Spock. Okay. Three. So three, four, five, six. So yeah, six, technically seven. So that's solid. It's very solid. Yeah. 
Now the, the other option you can do is to get rid of the photonic officer and photonic officer trait to put carrier sh wave shield hacking is then get photonic shock wave because that will give you another Yukon proc. Or, or you put gravity well one in the lieutenant commander spot and recursive sharing three in the commander spot. I need to go see if I can get a copy of carrier or shield hacking. They're only five mil right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, recursive sharing, you'll either have to craft or grab off the exchange because you want three, not two. It just depends. Give me a minute. Yeah, it just depends which way you want to go. If you want to go, well, I've got the Boimler effect. I mean, I bought it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I, I, I can get low buy any other time. I, I mean, I yeah. get enough then. Um, I'm just curious what to replace that with because I don't have much. Much. Oh wait, you already have carrier wave shield hacking. Um, shit. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, because electrolyte anomalies doesn't do anything anymore. Sadly. No, I'm not gonna. No, no, that trait got so fucking nerfed. <laughs> wait, which one? <laughs> Improved tachyon beam. Really? Shit. Photonic diversion. That screws up my drainer. Uh, da, 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 da. That's like that's like one of the main traits on my drainer. Shit. Um. Like Often ceaseless just for torpedo damage. <laughs> it's a possibility because even though the bulk. The bulk of your damage and everything is going to be your EPG based, but torpedoes are torpedoes, so. Uh, what else you got? Go down the list. I can see if I can spot anything. I mean, if anything, they're highly specialized. Yeah, that's actually not it. Yeah, I would. Yeah, give that one a try. It's better than nothing. Yeah, because I, I see some things there that would help. Uh, what okay. else? To go further down that list. Let's see what, oh, never mind. Oh, no, no, hold on. Hold on. I just want to see what else you got. See if there's anything else that kind of stands out for me. Oh, fuck. Oh, I gave okay. you. I'm giving you recursive shearing three. You're welcome. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> uh, did you look at particle feedback loop? I think that was a pretty meta trade a while ago. That I would say that's more for your side torp for your, like your Glen build, because you're well, using yeah, tactical abilities. Yeah, because you're going to be using you know firing modes for your torps where with the all science build your torps are yeah, that's true. your torps are basically just there to take up room essentially <clears throat> I got you know to be a tactical science where i had firing modes i miss that oh trust me these vern all science builds do a lot more damage without firing modes all right i'm gonna add that particle feedback loop to my shopping list yeah what ship is that from uh, uh, particle feedback loop. That's um. I want to see the eternal. Yes. Okay, that's some, I don't have, but I can yeah, get. That, it. that was the ship I flew for the longest time before I got my. That bird. was like the tor That was the yeah. tor side torp boat for the longest time. Yeah. yeah. And it had pets and everything. Yep. Yeah, until the um, burn came out. The space hot rod. Yep. Pretty much. Just going down the list. Uh, that's yeah, that's yeah. Okay, yeah, I definitely got yeah, highly specialized. I think will work out pretty good. Yeah, yeah, Dwayne. All the good Borgdoffs are overpriced. 
Yeah, ain't that, ain't that the sad truth? Because they're a bitch to get. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't even want to show you my doll. So I'll probably be like, whoop, whoop. All right. Well, anyways, let's finish the. Let's finish this first. Okay. So, so then. The grab well one. Yep. And then I need to put recursive sharing on Vera sec. Yep. Well, make make sure that person's also trained in temporal. He is. Okay. Because I no, because I I've made that mistake before too, so I don't. <laughs> Ditto. All right, Heisenberg. I mean, we person sharing. Okay. I don't know how this is gonna work, but all right. Well, r read the tool tip of it. Well, I've used recursive sharing on a beam overload build before, and I've never used it where I didn't actually use like beams or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you look at because you have three anomalies that do damage every tick plus okay. all your spore infused procs with all your science abilities all that goes into the pool for recursive sharing ouch time yes okay. now they, they have changed recursive sharing a little bit it's not a nerf it's just changed where before it would store it up and then hit it once at the end of the countdown now it hits every tick instead. Well, I can see why they do that because now with the power creep, thing can die before your recursive sharing pops. Yes. So you're still getting the same DPS, but you're just you're not seeing the two, three, four million hits. Pops. Yeah, it's just, <clears throat> it's coming smaller. I get it. Yeah. You're death by a thousand cuts. Yeah. All right. Uh, Unless, of course, you're using it with the agony field generator from the Adamant, because that interaction is still a little iffy. All right. Because now, it does the same thing. <laughs> I'm currently missing the sixth slot. I haven't got That's okay. credits for it. But this is what I'm running so far. So, yeah, you got to ditch the two science teams. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't even know I... Uh, remove... Let's see, you got, yeah, you got the technician, you got, yeah, so you got, you have three of the meta ones immediately. Dwayne, you need to get rid of one of, uh, a doff that you're not using, or ever going to use again, because I have a doff for you, but it says you don't have room for it. Ah, what? Airlock a green doff, Dwayne. Yeah, just, just airlock, just airlock a green one. You know, knock him. You know, take him up to the warp nacelle and knock him into the matter stream. I don't care what you do with him. Actually, that's probably closer to the truth, considering you get the lithium ore for dismissing doffs. It's either that yeah. or throwing him into a blender. No, that's more Trog's thing. <laughs> Dilithium ore is people. Soylent uh, dilithium. Soylent pink. Oh, Eve. Deflector ability? Uh, Anything that shoots out of the big science dish, I'm pretty sure counts as a deflector ability. Yeah, just, uh, let me know when you made room, Dwayne, because I have something for you. Uh, I'm looking at my science stuff, trying to see what I can put in there. I got two slots, and I have no idea what to put in. Oh, I don't have a good enough sounding command for that. I gotta get my ass into gear and get more sound commands. Yeah, you know, shove them into the matter stream, throw, you know, stuff them into a torpedo tube. I don't, I don't care what you do with them, just make room. Oh, that tacky. That's really tacky. I am. Mikey, I specialize in tacky. You know that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, I'll put that in my it's list. I gotta. Fun. Oh no. Once I get everything right. You're a loony. There we go. <laughs> now, is this gonna be a one uh, line or a two line uh, um, spam bar? Ooh, te when, technically hit three. Hit accept. Technically three? Because you're gonna want it depends on your play style. 
you might want to have one just for your consoles. Yeah. I usually click those, but all right. If, if no, if, if you're more comfortable clicking them, then that's fine. Dwayne, slot that doff. It's going to do a world of good for you. Would you give them the doff that has a chance to increase kinetic damage? Oh, the um, arboreal. Yeah. Nice. It's fairly fairly inexpensive. Well, for me, it's fairly inexpensive, but it's yeah. going to help yeah. Dwayne out a lot. Freya, yeah. could you do me a favor right quick? What's that? Uh, open up that specialization drop down and show me what you have for projectile weapon officers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, put a, put a reduced time torp one on. Yeah, you now. might as well fill a, fill a slot or two with those. Uh, there are projectile weapon doffs that will gear, that have a chance to grant you crit chance and crit severity. When you fire torpedoes, you eventually want to work yeah. your way out. I have a couple. Those of are the, the and those are the better of the two. The energy weapon ones don't proc as often. Correct. The, the, the only ones I have are just the recharge time on this character, and the other ones I only have blue over there. I don't have the really expensive metal ones. Yeah, the blue's the fine. Crit doffs only come. Uh, as far as I'm aware, the crit ones only come in blue. No, they come in pink, but when you look at the difference in performance... It's a 1% difference. Yeah, it's 1% difference between the blue and the purple, but the purple are about 10 times the cost. Right. Yeah, fair enough. That's why I use the blue ones. All right. Yeah, just use the blue ones. are perfectly fine. All right, now I need to go up and warp up the space so we can do the bridge officer crawl and all the fun. And I also need to open up my stove keybind so we can set up one. Oh boy. <laughs> keybind work is not something I'm looking forward to. I'm gonna need to do it sooner or later, but... Well, that, but you also play on a controller. Yes, and I need to kind of unjank my control scheme. Yes, Freya, you heard that right. Your tank is going to be tanking with an Xbox gamepad on PC. My eyes are twitching. You uh, can't see it. Uh, 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 Xbox Master Race. Yeah. Oh, no, PC Master Race. I'm just using the tools of the lesser races. If your eye is twitching, you need to drink more whiskey. Okay, let me phrase that. A Xbox Controller Master Controller. I get. I, I guess Vex isn't here right now. <laughs> oh no, I'm here. I'm just repressing okay. my rage. <laughs> who's, who's this? Oh, Lord. That's me. Okay. Especially Please. since I just noticed the name of your ship, and I just beat Mass Effect Three for the first time right before I came in. Wait, just the first time? All right. Uh, listen, listen. Okay, I have done it on insanity, all three games. You couldn't pay me enough. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was a lot nicer. It was a lot nicer on uh, Mass Effect <laughs> Three when I had my connect. Hey, like, hey. Had, oh, there's an original name, Forty La George. Yeah, I saw that. You, with your connect, you can actually call out your uh, um, your companions uh, like Liara Singularity or you know Vega Power Shot, whatever he does. That does sound fun, but at the same time, I can do all things through Prothean Particle Rifle that strengthens me. Okay. Anyways, back to the... So a Soyuz, a Galax, and a Talis. That's not a good sign. And a Connie and a Vern. Just with... Yeah, Dwayne, we're back at DS9. I know you're right. Dwayne's at DS9 because that's where I handed him the thing. I'm in space. Right yeah, I was going to say, I know he's around somewhere. I'm in space, ready to start doing my hot yep. bar. Yep, yep. You're, um, you're right behind us. Stow keybinds. Here we go. Open. All right. Who's going to help me set this up? Now, someone blow off some fireworks to get his attention. We've been smacking him with hazard emitters. Oh, the, there's Dwayne. <laughs> 
Okay, you know, you know what, Dwayne? I don't care what people say. I actually like your kit bash. It's really actually yeah. growing on me. Spacebar. Get a look at this. All right, spacebar. Where's spacebar? Okay, spacebar. Yeah, he. Dwayne did it to look as close to Strange New Worlds Enterprise, and I think he's all but nailed it. Yeah. Considering like the parts that are in game. Okay. And. You should, I mean, just personal, my personal opinion, you need to swap off those uh, Federation logos for the fleet logo. Yes. Um, I'm actually probably going to be leaving the fleet I'm in, so just fair warning. Um, because it's practically dead as a beta fleet. You're more than welcome here. Yep. All right, I, I've got my stow keybinds open. I've already got a new key set up, space bar. I've added uh, five activities so far for the lines, I guess, for what I need to do. Yeah, you'll, you'll want probably a two line for your spammable abilities and then a separate key for your consoles. and Or just go stick to clicking consoles. Alright, so... Cause, yeah, because you'll, you'll find that with the amount of Yukon procs you have, your consoles are going to be up a lot quicker than the normal. Okay, so execute full tray line two. Yeah, because right. you'll want like your non your non Yukon procs on one one key bind, then you do your consoles, and then you do. That's when you do your Yukon procs. There's no point doing Yukon procs before you set your consoles off. Okay, this might be a couple run to get used to it. Yeah. Oh. Um, they said we'll we'll do a run tonight, see where you are, and then because I'll be getting off I'll be getting off here shortly after the run, and then yeah, just hit us up anytime you see us around in game. <clears throat> full tray one, full tray yep. two, find all weapons. Uh, what's the interact? Interact. Because yeah, it's. Like, JB, myself, Ice, Talon, like, we're all usually hanging out, like, in the one of the other discords we're in, or we're on someone's stream, so we're always around, so don't ever be afraid to reach out. Alright. Yeah. And so, I am um, yeah. someone that does not have a sleep schedule so much as a sleep suggestion of schedule, so <laughs> I tend to be awake at the odd hours of the night. Plus, you're on the West Coast. Yes, I'm on retard time, too. Yep. My circadian rhythm is an asshole. I keep waking up at 9.30 a.m. and it's like, why? <laughs> I'm a closing shift person. Why? All right, now how do I... Africa, how do I get the client chat command? Open file. <clears throat> no, no. Did it already generate the file for you? I saved it. Uh, I just... All right, go ahead and locate that file on your uh, hard drive. Move it over into... It's one of the stow folders, let me find it. But once you port the new bind file into the stow files, you can do a chat command to load it by its name. Uh, I do it the other way where I just copy it. Just gotta remember how to do it. Uh, Both of the methods are very similar, but I don't like to having to try and type file paths. Oh, you just copy and control V. I forgot how loud that one was. <laughs> I'm just trying to remember what button is it that I. Uh, client chat command. Okay. Open. Desktop. Okay, open. Alright. Oh, there we go. Create bind file. All right. Clipboard. All right. I already have one bind file on here. How do I clear it? Flat. flat uh, the, you, you, you'll, well, when you put the new one in, it overrides it. It'll override any conflicting key binds with the new settings. Because, and again, that's something I've fucked up by because I accidentally loaded it when I was on ground and I fucked up my ground key binds because I'm an idiot. No comment. 
Okay, uh, new keybind file is uploaded, ready to go, is installed. How do I set this up? That's a little bit up to you. Power yeah. tray configuration is more per player than almost anything else about a build. Yep. I, I don't know enough about the how the power work. <clears throat> Most you certainly want to lead with emergency power to aux. Yeah, power to aux. That's going to everything that comes after it. Yeah. yeah, power to aux, cold in space, DRB, tachyon. And then the rest are all Yukon procs. Uh, Vortex do not put on spam. Vortex you have to click because it's a toggleable. Yeah. And yeah. the toggle doesn't work anyway. It's been broken for more than three years. Yeah. True, true. Um, also, uh, make sure you relocate mines is on your spam. Yes. <laughs> um... I, I do put scattering field on mine, and I do put my sen uh, my um, sensor scan as well. That's personal. That's just me. Well, I I find myself not using it half the time because I'm when I'm trying to click it, so it'd be good to have it on the spam bar. Mhm. Mm do I want to put the with my engine? I'm gonna want to have um, these on there, right? If you want, yeah. I put it on the second row. Yeah, you can either do that or yeah, that because that'll probably be easier than trying to manually click them. Put them in the spam bar window. Yep. That way, and this way I can actually see it before. <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right. Uh, sensor scan now. Uh. <laughs> good, Dwayne, good. <clears throat> Let me pull you back up. One button. Okay. Yeah, and then all your consoles. Now, this is something that I know some debates. Well, let me ask you, JB. Do you put recursive sharing on the spam bar now, or do you still use it as a clicky? I still use it as an individual instance clicky because I don't want to put recursive sharing on anything... Uh, like a sphere or you know, anything like that. I want to okay. be able to aim my recursive sharing at the biggest target I can, which is usually the tech cube. Okay. Because it has like like millions of hit points, and you really want that's where you want to lay that recursive sharing on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm lazy and bad. I put it on my spam. <laughs> that's just me. I, I yeah. You just have to learn to time it right because mm -hmm. I mean, the minute you get the minute you get into range of it, hit it. Yeah. The, 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 the longer it's running on the target, the more damage it's going to do. Yep, and then, yeah, then you, then you put all your Yukon procs after you activate your consoles. Like, I know some people have, like, three different spam buttons for that, but I only have the one because I time it. I have... All my Yukon procs are at the end, <clears throat> the end of my, my cycle. So just before my spam gets there, I stop and then I activate my consoles and then I start spamming again. But again, that's something that you'll figure out what works for you after getting used to it. Generally, the way I run my Uncon procs is the ISC is as soon as I take down that first TAC cube and we start demolishing the other cubes, that's when I start spamming them. That way my consoles will be ready to roll when I hit that get by the time I get to the transformer. Yep. Alright, so okay. this is where what? I'm learning things because I'm kinda lost. What? 
He said you, unconventional tactics. So basically all everything. Not... Yeah. So your your track actually put keep your tractor beam on the spam bar always because you're not using REA. So keep that on the spam bar because that way your target will every time it activates your target loses their shields. Okay. And then yeah, I would so then I'd put the rest of the your bridge officer abilities after your firing firing modes. So your three ta oh. your three temporal, your other two science. Oh, these two? Yeah. Or there there's fine as long as they're at the end of your cycle. Cuz I'm running okay, never mind. Hold on. Do something a little different. Yeah, that will work too, yeah. And then now you gotta put your uh, your three temporal, and then you should be good to go. And this is probably gonna be very weird. Yeah, but the, the the first run, let's just see how it does, and we'll take a detailed so look run at everything. everything. And right before I get the tractor beam, yeah, do all my consoles. Yep. Then okay. All right. Yeah. And as you get more and more comfortable with it, you'll get better with the timing and everything, too. Okay. All right, all right, considering all right. you're the one that we're uh, trying to get the best parts for, you're going to move with the tank. Okay. Yeah, so you're going to... The first group, you're going to move with the rest of us. Then when we get over to the left side, you're going to do the same move with the rest of us. But when you're transitioning from left to right... The minute that transformer goes down, the tank starts moving. Get on its ass. <clears throat> and only use your gravity wall on the first tack cube and on the gateway. Do not use your gravity wall on the two sides because it's too strong and lasts too long. <clears throat> All. Cube. Yep. First tack cube and then the the uh, gateway. Okay. All grab well the left. And then the okay. right, the right. I can, gra I can grab all the right. I have grab yeah. all on my. Yeah, exactly. I knew, I knew you did. So. All right, this should be interesting. Yeah, uh, and I'll try to, and I'll try to call out when to move too. What the hell? I've got enough. Let's see. I got my. There we go. Invasion maneuvers, and I got my deuterium surplus. All right. Hmm. So there's really no pre-buffing to this. It's just <clears throat> go in, boom, boom. Dwayne, you're always welcome in VC. You don't have to ask. Thanks for your help, guys. I really, I really appreciate it. That that's what we're here for. It's we we we've been lucky to be taught by some of the best players in the game, and it's part of our responsibility to keep that knowledge keep passing that knowledge on absolutely i've been a lot of the guys that i've been running with lately you know they're always asking me about torpedo bills like well i'm no augie but i can help you <laughs> all right okay check your traits check your specializations like this is for everyone oh and make sure you're doing uh Te uh, temporal, um, temporal intel, I guess. I was doing constable, but... Okay, no, you can do constable, because I know Sark has been testing that out again, so it might, might actually be working again. All pre-flight, ah, all pre-flights complete, tank is ready. Hey, Dwayne. Hello. <clears throat> hey, Dwayne. Hello, Dwayne. Okay, is everyone ready? I'm ready as usual. All right, all crews at battle stations, ready to go. We are, we are red right alert. Wee woo. Actually, hang on. Once. Yeah, that was a hell of a hell of a night to see on your stream, JP. Dwayne, I am just glad we finally got you there. I mean, not only did you hit under K, you smashed the shit out of it. 
Dude, you did. You went from 87k to almost two, almost 200k. That's that's impressive. That's a big jump. That's a big jump. I wish I could have watched that because I would have been like, oh, do it. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I'll do a few I did for Dwayne. I'll uh, I'll, I'll call out moves. Um, I'm getting. Anybody ready, lines? Uh, I am. Volcano, volcano. I'm not loading in. Everyone out. Warp, oh. uh, just, just Warp out, Dwayne. Dwayne. Yeah, volcano. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm running mines. Okay. We need to uh, hold off launching pets until we get in. Yeah. Yep, just give me a sec here. Yeah, yeah the reason we do that, Freya, because uh, we've been having a lot of object limitation problems where shit starts disappearing. Yeah, so uh, if, especially if a lot of AOE that happens, too. Yeah. Um, so if you're if you're running mines as well, Freya, nobody, nobody else launch pets or anything until combat starts. Alright, so no no mines from me. Yeah, you, you hold off on your mines until we actually start. Just give me a second. Yeah, yeah let uh, let Freya spawn up all his mines out. Dwayne, that, because we're, we're, we're trying to get him the best parts tonight. Oh, okay. So you, you start spawning yours as soon as combat starts. Alright. Hang on. That way, like you said, you know, like we did for you, I mean, nobody ran anything else. That way, you had the most uh, chance to do your thing. And I might to have you guys sit down and look at my high end torque build and see what y'all see. <laughs> oh, look. Okay. Yeah. You yep. know what? Hold on. Before we do this, before we do this, roster, I'm, yeah, I'm out of here. The only one that's been on on this character in fleet. Z fleet. Okay. You'll have to do a map transition before you can be invited to another one. Yeah, so just hold off till we do this ISC, then we'll take care of you. I wanted it to be a full PSP. <laughs> uh, there you are. I can try to invite him and see what happens. It'll, it'll probably say error. Or. Yeah, he got in. Okay. I don't know. I'm I'm on my, I'm on my I'm on Ver in a Veronet tune. So, well, actually, that might, a PSP might be full again now too, because we're at like 495 the other day. Yep, we reached yep, reach capacity. I'll have to get you in one of the beta fleets. All right, that's fine. Okay, here. Okay, I can do. I can. I do know that. my mains in there. I know my mains in Papa. Oh yeah, yeah. get him in Veronet. There you go. Yeah. <clears throat> there you go. Yeah, I have a character in there as well. Yep. In Veronet. Yep. Yeah. This is. Yeah. We're. Vernet's one of the beta fleets. It's run by our good friend Emma. So it's a low. It's I'll be honest. The the holdings are low, but we're making excellent progress. So all right, everyone, form we're up. We're making more headway in the last couple of months than Emma's made in the last couple of years, and I'm sure yeah. that's making her happy. Yes, it is. I do like helping her build that fleet up. Yep. Okay, everyone, ready? I'm, I'm ready. ready. Moved into. I've moved to position alpha. Ready to roll. Okay. Let's do this. Space hot rod. Okay, OBS, what the fuck? All night was fine. Now I'm dropping frames. I'm only dropping a couple, but still, it's pissing me off. Okay, everyone's in. Situation is shut the fuck up. We're gonna start putting your mines out. Nobody else put mines yeah. until we go start going in. You got it. Hey, Plaid, how's he, how are you doing tonight? All right, here we go. <clears throat> Just follow Lord Ice. Yep, follow the angry red Galax. It's red for a reason. It's highly visible. With the with the ugliness or in other cells. words, or in other words, look at me. I'm a. <laughs>
Go, 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 go. Yeah, just follow Lord Ice. Just... Go, go to the right side. Go, 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 go. Get to the gateway. Go, go, go. Decent. DRB good. Everything's solid. It's what it's going to come down to is going to be practice and yeah, pilot your piloting in time basically. We are God. Resistance is the pilot. Thank you, know you for the follow, you know Hyper Mute. Mule, sorry, Hyper Mule. Welcome to the Dog Collective. I'm gonna do something a little different. I am not gonna put my my, um, hold on, let me put these over here. Uh, Plaid, that was an ISE. Yeah, that was, uh, Dark's first run with, um, after tweaking his, uh, Vern build. Went pretty good, like, in all honesty, yeah, there's gonna be a little, there is a little bit of room for improvement, but it's gonna be mainly... I know what it is. I getting my uh, my spam bar with my unconventional. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I it's... removed the I removed the the temp op stuff from my spam bar, so that way I know I'm okay. As soon as I get done with tractor beam, bam, 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 you know, do my my uh my yeah. Uh, it, it's it's purpose. gonna 
it's going to come down to practice and timing and knowing when and also you're piloting too exactly yeah i think that yeah i think that i see it's all it's about number one ability activation and number two uh timing when to move well and that that was an upload for you too for that character thank you And yeah, Dwayne, another one above 100k. Good job, man. Good job. <coughs> and Dwayne, max set of 885. Very nice. Most impressive. Yeah, uh, good job, Dwayne. Yeah, you did very well considering all who's in there. I mean, now, if I can get Boimler on my torpedo build, I can get rid of my Ox the Bat. Yeah, Boimler will be your, will be a good, a good trait. Especially the fact that he doesn't have to, you don't have to use Octobat anymore. Right. Boimler effect revolutionized meta ship building overnight. Oh, yeah. yeah. When, once they fixed it, because originally its proc rate was terrible. Yeah, like 2.5, if I recall. I thought it was 5, but that's still nowhere near enough for it to be useful. Alright. Because cause I'm, I'm like, alright, that's. Because that's, I have my 6. Um, ooh. <clears throat> My brain is working. Shit. Hold on a second. Mm. It's so much fun when you can do new records because the way my old setup is on my torpedo, my, my meta setup that I have so far. I've done over 700k with it, mm -hmm. and that was a half bat and everything. Uh, there, you you click a button and it'll, it'll, it uploads it, and if you get a record, it tells you. Alright, I'm going to swap characters real quick. Okay, well, I'm about to end it anyways. Alright. I think Greg's on the right way, right, Greg. Let me so see. Around or is everybody going to bed? I'll try to avoid the cheese puns as much this time. No, I don't think I'm going to raid Greg. Okay. Uh, hang on. Uh, no, Kenobi's on. Let me see. Hang on a sec. Du -du -du. All right, am I still streaming? Yes, I am. Okay. Yes. All right. Da -da -da -da, access bank. Count bank. Space gear. Let's see who else is on. Effect. All right, that's fine. I can get low by if I really want to get low by. I can wait till I finish this up. Hey, hey, goofball! Have fun at work. Thank you for popping in, man. Indeed, have fun at work. Okay, I just want to say... Yes, I know, I forgot. I'll try and change it. Sorry. <laughs> Oops, wrong button. I keep I keep pushing too many wrong buttons, damn it. Okay. These are my, these are my traits on my torque. Okay, Not we're... Bad. Okay, I just want to say thank you to everyone for popping in. All the follows, all the lurkers... It was another fun stream. Thank you to JB, to Ice, to everyone else. My pleasure as always. There's a link. To, you're very welcome. There's a link to JB. Go check him out. Smash that like button like it owes you money. Thanks to Vex for hanging out. I don't have the link for her channel handy, but please check her out. We're going to go raid, uh, raid uh, Greg Bog. He's popped into my chat a few times. He's another STO streamer, a little more on the casual side. So let's go uh, give him some love. So I'll be back Tuesday night, uh, Tuesday afternoon. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to stream tomorrow night. I have other commitments. I have to help Vex with some videos. 
but I'll be back Tuesday afternoon and we'll see what else. So everyone, I hope you have a great night. Bye bye. Night night. How V to same. Aloha. Means hello, goodbye, and love in Hawaiian. Indeed. Ohana means family. <clears throat> I'm glad I'm not the only one that went there in my brain. <laughs> so you gotta help Vex with some videos, huh? Oh my. Yeah, my my laptop <clears throat> is a 10-year-old MacBook Pro. So I cannot use it to, to, to record, stream, anything. So... Yeah, I, I need it. I need to borrow someone's device so, so I can Mickey? record anything. And if right. Mikey winds up uh, doing some footage while he's there, maybe a nice massage. I'm sure you wouldn't mind. <laughs> well, I'm getting right. massage chair for my birthday, so. Mm.